Are you looking to implement pay-per-click advertising into your real estate business? iSpeedTheLead.com is an a la carte PPC marketplace, allowing investors to get into the world of PPC on a budget. Browse and purchase PPC leads a la carte from all around the United States. These leads are from motivated sellers who want to sell now. So if you want to find motivated sellers using PPC, go to iSpeedTheLead.com. We got you. Everybody, welcome to The Closer Show. Today is a very special day indeed. Now, you guys might have seen in the title, you might have seen in all the marketing we were doing, or maybe my amazing photo of RJ and I in, in uh, the Eiffel Tower. Where is that? I don't know, France. But I'm losing myself here, guys. I'm just so excited. Today, we have a very cool guest on. Somebody who won the Closers Olympics two times. Even though the first time there was some iffy stuff, but I'm going to say you won it two times. The man, the myth, the legend. We got R.J. Bates the third, and of course the man, the other myth, the other legend, Gene Blinkoff. What's happening? What's going on, guys? <laughs> hey, RJ. What's up, man? I'm a, I'm excited to be here, and uh, you know this is going to be way different than the Closers Olympics because I get to go for as long as I want. As long as you want, right. man. There's, there's no shot clock on me, so I could just go buy as many houses as I want. So I love it. <laughs> there's, and there's leads for fucking months. <laughs> you know, I, I, I want to start off. I don't think many people know this because, look, people, they take what they see in social media and they just assume that they know everything about you based off of what's on social media, right? And so what, what have we seen from me on social media? We see me as the guy that does texting. And, and using the batch products, right? But I do the, the high speed, the lead leads just as much as anything else. Gene is the one that reached out to me uh, early on. And, uh, and we've been closing deals with Gene for a while. And so I'm excited to come on here and, and showcase a, a completely uh, another facet of, of our business here with the, the PPC leads that we get from Gene and, and guys. RJ. Thank you so freaking much for being here, man. You are, um, dude, you like, you like, you were already blown up and then the, you won the Olympics and you like, absolutely just like, fuck out of dough, just dominate the, <laughs> the fucking the, flood the zone, man. So I, and right. I love it, man, because you're, you're, uh, you're, you're, uh, you're someone I respect a lot, man. And, uh, you stand for some good shit, man. And you've got, you've got, you know, you take care of your family, man. And you got a great charity, by the way. Kids beat cancer, uh, charity. If you want to make a donation, make sure you contact RJ. Um, look, it's uh, it's a great cause. I fucking donate to it. You should be donated. If you don't donate to your pussy, do it. Fucking donate to RJ's because it's the greatest, best cause is for kids. You know, I had my uh, first daughter this year, and I just could not imagine the the, the things people go through when uh, their kids need their bill, like medical yep. bills paid, and that's what RJ's charity does and uh for me it just hits a you know i'm all russian and all that but like this hits a soft spot in in my soul so uh rj is uh is beyond just giving so much fucking value to people on on the in the rei community in general bro this you you flew all charity. the way to, to dallas texas from ukraine to come to our charity golf tournament that was that was pretty epic right there so listen uh we're gonna have fun tonight I, I got the the Viking beer with me, so so cheers to you guys. Let's have some fun tonight. Do some nice. deals, right? Dude, we're gonna get some deals made. I mean, I, I see no other opportunity or no other option. That's it. There you go. All right. Well, uh, shall we get started? Let's hop straight into it, man. All right. Let's let's do this. So, <laughs> y'all got me this uh, nifty little list over here for me to call on. This is uh. It's going to be fun right here. You know, we have had such problem with Texas leads because, listen, right, our comping skills in states where it's not disclosure, we suck at it. We suck at it. And we're really trying our best. So I'm excited to see how when you're going through this, you're just getting the value for these properties right away. Available now. 
please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. Hi, Claire. This is RJ Bates. I was reaching out to you about your property on uh, 1028 Water Tower. Uh, you entered it in on our website saying you're interested in selling that property. If you could give me a call back, 817-915-6860. Thank you. That's a landline. Wow. Those still exist. So one of the things that I do is when I call someone and I leave a voicemail like that, I save them in my phone, first name, address. So if they call me back, I know who it is. So that way I'm not having to track it all down. I've played the track down game too many times. It's not fun. Yeah. Who is this? I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. All right, we'll send him a text message then. The cool thing is that Thursdays on the show has been like, I don't know if you know what, if, what the best day for you is, but Thursdays have been like the best day out of them all for just people willing to like deal you know what i mean not like just right you know you call them on weekend they're like yeah they're procrastinating thursday's been like dope well this is local i could go see this one in person Hey, Kevin, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property at 2121 Pecan Valley. Um, you entered your information on our website saying you were interested in getting an offer on that property. Give me a call back, 817-915-6860. Thank you. Now, do you do, you do the whole triple dial thing or? Uh, I will, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Naaman name, name name taught me that, actually. Name has been on this thing. One of the things I don't like to do is um, <laughs> make them question, you know, what, hey, what was going on? Why did you call me so many times? So I, I like to uh, save that. Uh, for, yeah. I, look, we've got a little list here. We can go through this. And then we'll go back through it if they don't answer. Hi, is Phyllis there? Speaking. Hi, Phyllis. This is RJ Bates. I'm reaching out to you about your property at 3738 Shandell Lane. Uh, you had entered your information on our website saying you're interested in getting an offer. Did I catch you at a good time? Uh, yeah, you can. I'm not sure, but yeah, you go ahead. Okay. So you're you're looking to get an offer on that property. Um, tell me a little bit about it. What, what's going on with the property? Uh, let me uh, ask you a question. Are you an investor or are you a wholesaler? I'm an investor. Okay, because I'm working with an investor. Where are you located? I'm located out of Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. Uh, yeah, I inherited the property and been living there since 2017. And so um, 
they're wanting to foreclose, so I'm trying to keep that from foreclosure. So I may have to file bankruptcy next week, but if I can get an offer, what I'd like to do is stay in the home, make some, a few improvements, uh, and get top dollar for it. Because um, I also own a home across the street that I just had to um, spend about a hundred thousand dollars after the uh, 2017 Hurricane Harvey floods and get that. Uh, renovated so i'm i'm tired of dealing with hurricanes because i've been here for over 20 years and it's just that's all i'm doing so i'm going to have a life so i want to sell both homes but again want to get top dollar i'm in the best um street in the city and uh my house across the street not the one we're talking about mm -hmm. is uh an all-white school district but that one's in a uh, black school district but it's it's a huge home uh it has the potential to uh i'd like to renovate the uh garage into a, like a mother-in-law so that whoever buys the home they have it'll pay it'll pay for the note for that mortgage so that's kind of like I, like I said I kind of like to work with an investor because like I said I've been doing the uh, general contracting on my home and I used to be a director of procurement business development for uh, a fortune 500 companies and oversaw their government contracts and all their uh, getting process and jobs and stuff so it kind of Manage. I don't know. Do you buy properties, and you have your own team, or what? What do y'all? What do y'all do? Yeah, we we buy the properties and we fix them up. We do re, we do flips, and we also do rentals as well. Okay, so you work. So your only two options is either buy it and, and flip it and rent it, or sell it. I mean, I would I would prefer to be able to just purchase the property, but it looks like you're looking for someone to invest in the property with you. Or just if they give me what I want, but I'm not going to say, I'm not just because it's distressed, I'm not going to, uh, you know, take pennies on the dollar. So, I mean, I know everybody's got to make money, but, you know, I've got to make some money too. So, so what, <laughs> what was the price you were looking to get for the property? I'd like to get 250 for it. You can sell it easily for 475 with a few improvements. Uh, so, you know, I need some painting and, you know, the regular stuff that you would do when you come by a house. So, but it's a, it's a nice house. It's a big home. It's got five bedrooms. Uh, so I just put new appliances in after, uh, in 2018. I see. So, um, what, um, what comps were you using to, to see that you could get 475 for it? I just lived in the neighborhood on across the street and on the street for 20 years. And it's an older, uh, it's an oversized lot, the lot alone. If you, you know, if you, demolish the house it, the, the lot would sell for a hundred thousand so the lot alone is worth a hundred thousand mm -hmm. so uh, like i said everybody in the neighborhoods pretty much lived there for 20 years they just recently sold a, a, a newer home down the street uh sold that one uh it was an attorney that lived there i think he was getting a divorce or something he to sell so <clears throat> i i see yeah, I see a, a property that was built in 2005 that's like 400 square feet bigger than yours. It sold for 221. Where's uh, it located? Where's it located? That's on uh, 7910 Friar Point. Looks like that's yeah. that's like two two blocks over from you. I, I see another one that's 3,000 square feet, uh, 8324 Chimney Rock. It sold for 225. But I, I don't see anything in the in the threes or the the four hundreds. And how many square feet is it? That was three thousand square feet. And what and, and chimney walks around the corner. So what what was the what was this? Did you have an address for that? Yeah, give me two seconds. It's uh, eighty three twenty four Chimney Rock. Yeah, I have to look at that. And see, yeah, it's probably a home that had to be good. See, some of those houses, oh, everybody got underwater, so. If it had, if in other words, if it was totally gutted and they didn't do anything, then they sold it at a loss. So, you know, you have to look to see did they go in and, and do any renovations at the storm? Because, like, there's a house down the street from me that's been abandoned for 15 years. And after the storm, they gutted the house, but there's no appliances, there's no furniture. They just, re, you know, cut it up, cut it up uh, six feet and then put new sheetrock. Didn't paint it, no texture. So, you know, th those are the things you have to look at. It's yeah, I'm I'm looking at the, the pictures of it. I mean, it's it's uh completely remodeled and and has a pool and everything. Is it a brick home? Mm, let me see the outside. Um, it does have brick on it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and it's eighty three twenty five chimney rock. Eighty three twenty four. Twenty four. Okay, I'll check it out and see. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to be anywhere close to your price, uh, but okay. I but I do appreciate you reaching out. Okay. All, All right. right. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, she was in outer space. The ARV on her property is probably, I don't know, one, 160. 60. <laughs> 160. And she's like, I'll take 250 as is. We're going to go sell this bad boy for four something. Like, <laughs> water. <laughs> Can I please have a, whatever it is you're smoking right now? <laughs> right. No, ma'am. And I thought the conversation was going to go really well at the beginning. Right? She's trying to avoid pre foreclosure and all this, and I'm like, "Oh yes, this is a this is a good one." No, no. She's going to go play the the foreclosure game. She's going to file bankruptcy and and do all the stuff. She'll have a good time. Oh yeah, she knows how to work the system. She knew a wholesaler. Right? I know, right? <laughs> you a wholesaler, RJ? Only on the weekends. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Two eight one five five six three eight. Cassie, I have the address in here. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Donna, this is RJ Bates. You had gone on our website and said you're interested in selling your property there in Kirbyville. Uh, give me a call back, 817-915-6860. Thank you. RJ, did you want me to share this with Cassie? Uh, spreadsheet. No, nah, she can go in there. Five, one, she just was commenting two, on the comments one, four, there. What's up, Steve? When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Diane, this is RJ Bates reaching out to you about your property on Navarro Crossing. Uh, you had entered your information on our website saying you want to get an offer on that property. Give me a call back at 817-915-6860. Thank you. What's up, boss? What did you want it for? That woman is she's crazy. On red. Hello. Hey, is Scott there? Speaking. Hey, Scott. This is R.J. Bates. I was uh, returning your call about thirty-eight oh five Bedford Avenue in Midland. You had gone on our website and said you were interested in selling that property. Yes, sir. Awesome. Is now a good time? Sure. Well, fantastic. Well, tell me, uh, looks like you're you're relocating. You want to move closer to family? Well, yeah, that's that's my intentions if the price is right. I got gotcha. you. Where are you moving to? Uh, Mesa, Arizona. Okay. I was actually just out in Phoenix this past weekend. Yeah, it's a great place. Yeah, I love it out there, man. It's I, I kind of go out there once a month. Just I find excuses to go out there. I love it. Um, it's about the cleanest big city I've ever been in. For real, man, and their road system, it, <laughs> I live up here in DFW, and yeah. their roads are incredible in comparison to ours. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you said uh, you're interested in selling as long as you get the right price. So let's, what, what's that price you're looking for? Well, um, I paid two sixty five for this place. I don't know what the market value is right now with the oil and gas situation. I know I, I rented this place out and I was getting twenty eight dollars twenty eight hundred a month for it. That was like last year during the COVID mess. Right. But uh again that doesn't help me with the, with the property values for selling. But uh, I'm not sure what the property value is right now in the area. Gotcha. So you said you were renting it out, so is it vacant now? No, I'm I'm sitting in it right now. I got gotcha. you. I, I, I own it outright. I see. Um so the only it, drama I have with the house, I'll lean on it for 113. All right. 
What kind of lien is it? It's an IRS lien. I see. Okay. 113 on a lien. Let's see. I'm trying to get some comps pulled up here real quick. Does it need any repairs done to it? No. I, the only repair I know about that uh, the renters did for me was the door jam and the between the uh, the threshold between the, uh, the laundry room and the garage. That needs to be replaced because I think dumbass, he barricaded himself in the house and the cops got to pry it open. I see. <laughs> All right. What about hey, did, once the tenants moved out? I mean, did you did you do like any painting or flooring or anything like that? No, everything's good. I have uh, I have like um, my flooring is like a, a like a like a ceramic um, a ceramic tile. Okay, does that make sense? So I didn't have to do anything. It was very easily cleaned up. They left me a match, but it was very easily cleaned up. I had a lady come in. She spent about two weeks. So it's basically spotless. Um, I need to repaint the second bedroom, and there's one small, small hole in the uh, in my uh, master bedroom that I need to repair that they did while they were moving out. I see. But that's, that's basically no time. All the all the fixtures, the sinks are like old school. Um, the counters, my wife kind of redid them. Did redid that with some kind of special, some deal that they were doing. Is it turned out really good? It's like custom work on that. Right. All the faucets are changed out, things like that. It basically was kind of rebuilt, somewhat remodeled, somewhat before we moved in. I see. And how long have you owned it? Uh, two and a half years. I see. So you're you you bought it in 2018. Yeah, but I think it was. I think I moved. I moved to Texas from Mexico in 2000 in October, November of 18, and I bought the place in February 19. Gotcha. Yeah, because I saw that it was it was listed on the MLS in 2018, but that listing failed. At least that's what it's saying here on my system. So that's yeah. uh that's interesting. Did you end up buying it off the MLS or did you buy it off market? Well, what I had to do since I couldn't produce W twos for two years since I was in Mexico for six, then I had to basically do an owner financing, and that's how I ended up doing it. Gotcha. So they they owner financed it to you, but you already paid him off. Yeah, that's yeah, the house is clean. It's free and clear. Gotcha. Well, IRS funds. Right. I well, it's funny you bring up owner financing because when you said it was owned free and clear, I was going to ask you if you would owner finance it, but that lien kind of causes a little bit of an issue there. We got to get that cleared off. Yeah, that's that's fairly easy. I just did that. My dad just passed away four weeks ago. Uh huh. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I appreciate that. He did a reverse mortgage, so we had a lien on the house for 130k. And a guy came in, did the same thing in Arizona. They basically gave us a really good price. They paid cash us out. I just received my check today, actually. Gotcha. So they, it's easily taken care of. You know, for these these guys have got some cash to throw down on the house. Right. Well, I, I mean, I'm obviously interested in the property because this is what we do. I mean, we buy properties. Um, I'm trying to determine what would be a, a fair offer. I, I don't think I'm going to be... I don't think I'm going to be coming in in the mid twos. I'm probably going to be somewhere closer to the mid ones, to be honest with you, because it just, I, I have to be able to to buy it at a, a price that's, you know, reasonable for me. It sounds like it does need a little bit of work, you know, not, not a ton, but it sounds like we're going to have to do a little bit there. And as an investor, obviously I, I don't pay full market, but I do, you know, commission free, no, no fees, or we pay the closing costs and stuff like that. Probably similar to what you just, did with your your father's deal um i, I sold a house I, I moved my wife passed away <laughs> a year and a half ago too i bought a house in arizona in Santan valley just south of mesa right moved her there for health reasons and she is, <laughs> i moved all my stuff out of this house in midland moved it into the house in arizona and she made it for two weeks before a doctor's appointment right so right i just i had to keep the house for nine months make payments on it painful payments not bad and um i had renters here while well, i had the property there and i had work um a, what was it offer pad came in and gave me a really good price in the house i paid 265 for that house in arizona and they gave me three hundred thirty thousand for that house right and so but i know i know the market's a lot different phoenix yeah that's what i was gonna say i mean phoenix is probably one of the hottest markets in the united states and 
yeah. it's a little bit different in Midland, you know, not not quite jumping there. I see the average days on market in, in your area is like 70 days, um, which isn't bad. But I mean, it's, it's bad in comparison to, say, places like Phoenix and, and Mesa and places like that. Um, if you had a day, if you had a property that was sitting on the market for 70 days there, you, you did something wrong, especially when you have places like offer pad and open door and, and places like that, that are coming in and, and basically paying above retail just so they can capture properties and eventually capture the appreciation that they're anticipating. Uh, somebody calls 72 and something or other. 72 and sold. Yeah, they're a ripoff. They, they came in, they told us, I said, well, what we'll do is we're going to make you an offer. Then what we're going to do is come in, clean the property up, put it on the market, see if we can't get a, a get a um, showings and all this BS. So it was basically a glorified um, real estate company, right? Right. With all the fees. It was bullshit. Yeah. We had a guy come in. He walked in, sight unseen. I'm sure he, you know, he did his homework before he showed up. He pulled up in his really nice car, walked through the house, came out, and says, here's, here's your offer. So my dad paid one sixty five for that house in, in Mesa, and the guy gave us two fifty five. And he says, he says, I'll have you, I'll have you cash out of here in one week. <laughs> right. So I mean, but the, again, that's that's Phoenix market. Now, no, all bullshit aside, I had a call yesterday. Maybe it was, it was the day before yesterday, and the guy offered me two hundred for this place. But uh, I, that's two two hundred. I just can't. I can't walk away. That's you know. That's going to hit me sixty, seventy thousand bucks. Right. And I'll be honest with you. I think that's a that's a pretty fair offer. I mean, that's yeah. gonna be, that's gonna be higher than what I'm going to be offering. To be to be honest with you. Okay. Because I'm what I'm seeing is is I see there's a couple of properties that have gotten into like the two fifty range, two sixty. Right. With similar square foot and similar lot size, similar year built, um, but you know those are those are you know fixed up and and to the nines, you know, and and so yeah. I just with the couple of things that you said, you know, I'm gonna have to go in there, you know. I mean, my thing is I'm never gonna be the highest person. Um, I'm just I'm gonna tell you what my price is gonna be, and it is what it is, and at that point in time, um, you know, we're we're ready to move forward, you know, and. You're looking at 3K to fix this place. That, 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 I mean, I've got stamped concrete. I mean, it, it looks, it's very presentable, but I'm not trying to sell it. I'm right. Like, you, you can't come up with money. I'm just talking. Yeah. Well, yeah, I typically, we we end up spending more than that, just to be honest with you, just to, based off what I'm seeing. I mean, you said it's got some some older sinks and, and countertops and stuff like that, right? Yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's the same thing they're going to do to my dad's house. They're basically going to go in there and, got it even though they gave us a hell of a price on it but the market the market will sustain that so they're going to go in there and gut it knock down some walls do the open living bullshit put in all new appliances yeah well i'm not i'm not trying to to play hgtv over here i mean i'm i'm just saying you know i i can't i can't go sell something for top of market value if it's got you know older countertops and sinks and and stuff like that my house was only six years old in santan and offer pad was going to do the same thing with that one. I'm like, dude, this place is it, it doesn't even have a blemish on it. Right. It was weird. The house, the house that I bought, the guy was kind of strange. He bought the house and he lived in the garage. <laughs> strange. Went, it is. He went inside to take a shower. Then he went back in and cook. And then he went back out to his out to the garage. The garage was fully finished. It was it was as nice in the garage as it was in the house. Right. Well, not not to try to convince you to go with my competitors, but I I would say I mean if, if that that person is willing to offer you two hundred thousand cash, um, I I I would probably advise you that's a that's a damn good offer and and you should probably seriously consider um, accepting it or trying to put it on the market and and seeing if you can get more. But then you've got the the showings and the realtor commissions and the closing costs and all of that that you're gonna have to pay, but. For an investor to come in and offer you two hundred thousand cash, I mean that's that's more than a fair offer. All right, well I appreciate your honesty. Sure. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, uh, best of luck with your property there and getting out to to Arizona. Okay. All right. Thanks, sir. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. We missed two return phone calls to deal with his bullshit. <laughs> And just by the way, the folks that are watching 
on the show, what we do is we call on the leads that were passed up on, that were not sold out. And on every fucking show, we get contracts. We're not going for the easy shots. can go for the easy stuff and buy down the site. I'm going for the difficult shit. Watch RJ just freaking. Well, the, the other thing about it is, is like Midland, Texas is not going to be an easy place to dispo a property either. Not saying it's a it's a small area. It's just not the the pressure. Uh, pressure. I've heard no pressure RJ down there. It's just not the, the same as like uh, the, the bigger cities. You know, it's out there in West Texas and, and those people, those investors out there, they're savvy. And so they're, they're going to know that there's less competition. So they're going to want it at a steeper discount than say what we would be able to sell in Fort Worth or San Antonio or something like that. And so for him saying, I don't believe him when he says he got an offer of 200,000, because if he did, he should have accepted it because I was being generous with the, the ARV I was giving him right there. All right, let's, let's call this back. Four, three, two. Huh. All right. We haven't called that person. This other person that I previously called, she said, text me back. Let me know who you are, who you're with, and what your offer is. So I just hit her with, my name's RJ Bates, Titanium. Uh, I'm available now. I need to ask some questions to determine uh, so I'm gonna see if she calls me back. Hey John hit the nail on the head. It's no boonies. It is no boonies. He said that's out in the boonies, bro. Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it is. But look, I mean, you can still make money out there, right? We don't want to walk away from it, but I mean, the reality of the situation is is if they're wanting something and it Listen, he tells us he paid 260 three years ago. I mean, the market has obviously gone down, or what really happened, and this is important to listen, what he said was, I bought it seller finance. So he bought it from an investor, and the investor sold it for above market value to him. So his butt's puckering when I'm telling him, well, you paid more than what it was worth, and there's no appreciation mm -hmm. happening in Midland, obviously, because I'm looking mm -hmm. at the so that's just kind of a shitty situation for him, but that's what happens when you come over and you, you buy things, seller finance, you know? All right, let's just call this woman and see. Hello. Hi, Diane. This is uh, RJ Bates from Titanium Investors. I was the one that was calling you because you had entered your information on our website. Which website's that? Because I'm not. I didn't. Your cash right? offer option. Cash cash offer option. Okay, got it. All right. Yeah, sorry. We we have different different names there. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, yeah. So 132 Navarro Crossing, correct? Correct. All right. So tell me a little bit about the property there, so I can determine what we can offer you. Um, it's on for sale by owner. I am the owner. Right. With my husband. It is a condo, three bedroom, two bath. Has all the big upgrades that you could ask for. Um, I don't know if you want me to go over all those, but that's on his boat. Yeah. Um, what else? Let's see. I don't know what else to tell you. You can go on online and look. It's even on Zillow off the market, but it's on Zillow. Gotcha. Tell you about it. Um, How much are you asking for the property? Two seventy nine. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I'm uh, I'm probably not going to be your buyer because um, I'm an investor, and I mean that's that's just right. yeah, it's probably just not a good fit for us. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye bye. That's pretty cool. I wish I could share my screen. I think that you can now. Now, stream area to go down, share screen. Oh, I can. I didn't can know. Yeah. Bro, I'm gonna start doing this. Look at Y'all ready for this? Uh, ARV on that is 210. She's asking um, 275. <laughs> this, is, this is when we uh, we just very quickly say, I'm not the right buyer, and we move on to the next one. <laughs> so, all right. 
Uh, do you want to take my screen away? Because I I've got my uh my leads over there. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was funny. Also, everybody who's watching right now, we are doing a giveaway for a thousand dollars in pay per click leads. Okay, and to enter, all you've got to do is subscribe to the YouTube channel. Now that we can't really check, but if you do, we'll appreciate it. But the real way to enter is sharing this on Facebook. Go to Gene Blinkoff's Facebook, share it with your group, hey, share it with your page. Hey, Charles, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property on uh, 1409. Oh, let me butcher this real quick. Conicoa Drive. Yeah. Did, it, did I nail it? Yeah, it's Canicoa. <laughs> Canicoa, okay. It's Hawaiian. I got gotcha. you. Well, I, you know what? I my best friend lives in Hawaii. I probably should have known how to pronounce that a little bit better. But we got Aloha and Kentucky and all that good stuff. I got gotcha. you. So uh, yeah, you'd entered your uh, information on our site about selling that property. Are you still looking to sell it? Yeah. Awesome. How much are you looking I to need, get for that one? I need an offer. You need an offer. All right. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna put it like that. Yep. Tell me, tell me what's going on with the property. Is it vacant, occupied? Oh, I live there. All right. Is it, me and my, my partner do, and we're planning on moving. I got gotcha. you. I've and got a lot of work on it, but it's not finished. Uh, I got all the metal roof bought for it. I got the back done and part of the front up to the fireplace. It's got a nice brick fireplace, big one. It's only a two bedroom, it's only a one bath. It's got a single car garage attached. Uh, I'll tell you. Laminate floor in it, I don't know, probably six, seven years ago, uh, maybe longer than that. I painted the inside, but it needs to be painted again. It needs a needs some facelift on the outside. Nothing major structurally. It's sound. It's paired beam. City water and the city sewer, which is gravity flow. Uh, it has a well on it. It needs some work on, on the pump or the hose because the pump's still running. I'm not sure what's going on with it. I don't have the strength to pull it up 90 feet you know, down in a well anymore. They're, they're heavy. I've done it twice. I'm just not going to do it again. But it does have a well. The well's never run dry. Uh, the backyard is dense. There's two lots. The backyard is second lot. I think that's 20. No, 84. The house face is kind of cool, but the address on the plot. Our plant is uh, uh, Aloha. Right. So, and it's only four. You got water view, two or three different directions. Both ramps about 150 to 200 yards from the house. It's a, it's a private addition. It's not fenced or dated, but in order to have access to the park and boat ramp, you're supposed to be a member of the POA. The dues on both pieces of property are $60 a year, which ain't bad. And it's really quiet neighborhood. If you had to throw a number, it sounds like you you understand the the cost of construction. So if you had to throw a number on what it needs rehab wise, what would that number be? Well, let's see. Back fifteen years ago, I could do all the work myself, so there was no labor cost. Right. So I've been in construction forty four years. And I would say, well, you know, paint inside now, the kitchen definitely needs the cabinets jerked out and replaced. I'm not sure what that's going to cost. It. That's going to be a few grand, right. probably four or five thousand, maybe, you know, that's what I'm thinking. You know, not built on the job, you know, built in the shop and installed. Right, right. And a laminate floor, for the most part, in great shape. There's a few places where, it's shrunk and swelled, shrunk and swelled, you know, due to humidity and dry. And dirt got in the crack, so it doesn't go back together when it gets humid. So, you know, it's got some dirt in the crack. So it's, uh, it's a uh, distressed hickory floor. It's not cheap, but we paid several thousand dollars for the floor. And it does have the underlayment under it. So that that's done. Uh, as far as, I've never had a termite problem. So I don't think you got an issue there. There's some siding on the outside, which is the old style. The house is built mid sixties. It's got, you know, lamp siding, which is pine, it's clear pine. 
it has a little swing in, and then it comes out flat for about six or seven inches, and then overlaps the next piece. Okay. You understand what kind of, I can't remember the name of the side. I understand. I mean, it's hard to find, but Broom and Sons, here where we live in the lake, they have it. They can get it. Right. But it's pretty high. It's like $2 a foot. <laughs> so, I don't know. Hell, I ain't going to put a number on labor. Right now, if I work, it's 50 bucks an hour. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't care. I mean, if I'm too old to do it. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to make it work my while. Right. Um, anyway, material wise, you're probably looking at, I'll say, four or five grand on the cabinets. Right. You got, you got to paint the house on the inside. Of course, you got to protect the floor, the windows. I've replaced all the windows in the house except for three, and I have two of those bought. I just, I may get around to it before we move. I probably will. And if they're, they're double paint insulated glass, uh, you know, they're, they're good quality window. And, uh, you said you you bought the well. you bought the roofing material, right? It, is it on yeah, site? I've got the roofing material there. I've got it's all metal roof. So. Gotcha. What it's, what, it's what kind of roofing roof, system? Uh, it's white white gable trim and a red ridge, so it's red, white, and blue. Gotcha. That's the color scheme I got. So gotcha. It's all new, but this weather's been sitting sitting in a, sitting on the ground, you know, skids for three or four years. So I see. So when you pull the sheet up, you don't have to wash it. I mean, that's all I'd say. Right. Uh, trees, need, trees need trimming, but you know that's that's an act of nature. So. So how quickly would you be able to to move out of the property if we were to come to an agreement? Probably the end of January. Okay. Uh, we're moving to Northwest Arkansas. We have a lot of junk to get rid of before we move, and a lot of, a lot of stuff to pack up and move. I can see. So okay. And, yeah. Well, we can accommodate your the the closing based around your your schedule there. So even if you needed more time, we could work with you there. That's okay. I was just curious if if you were on a time crunch and you wanted to be out by time or, Hey, this is, this might be a little bit of a lengthy process there. Um, you know, we're not, we can't move immediately. There's no way. Right now I'm having some health issues uh, that I don't know what it is. It feels like a hernia, but I don't know what it is. I was having results of under your teeth. I did a sonogram today. So let's see what's going on there. Uh, shoot. I don't think, uh, you know, it, it's value. You know, it's crazy at like at one hundred five thousand almost. I'm not going to take that. I want more than that. And if, if nobody wants to pay that, I'm just going to hang on to it. I see. It's a decent piece of property. It, the lot is huge. The backyard is huge. I used to have a great Dane out there, and she had plenty of running room. It's two thirds of an acre. It is a corner lot. Like I say, you got water from the three different threads. Right. Well, you're an investor, right? I am. And then so I'm I'm looking at 1408 right across the street that sold back in July. I see it sold for 113. Yep. But man, they it's a smaller house too. Yeah, but they had done a, a lot of work to it on the inside. Yes, they, did. they only had one lot too. They didn't have a will. Yeah. So you, know, you just have to look at the property. The trees in the backyard are towering oaks. I mean they're anywhere from forty feet to eighty feet tall. And there's there's something else that's not. They're all oaks. Every one of them are oaks. So I'm I'm getting a second lot, right? That yeah, yeah, it's it's a whole piece of property. You know, it's, it's, all right, so I mean, if you wanted, if you wanted to buy it and tear it down, I mean, yeah, you could put two houses on the property. The house, like I said, it's built in the 60s, it's still solid. I mean, and the roof is three quarter deck and it's lap deck, one, yeah, one by eight and one by 12. And, and you know, it's old school deck, but it's still strong, you know, right? And I stripped three layers of shingles off 20 some odd years ago. and Put one layer on there, and my roof was wearing out, so I decided to go back to metal. So I just overlaid over the shingles. 
and you're 1,200 square feet total, correct? That's for the garage, yes. That's that's what it says. You know, the paperwork. Well, that's not including the, the square footage of the garage, right? Yeah, it is. It's including the garage. The garage is attached. Okay. That's under roof. That's under roof. I would say it's probably... Shoot, I don't know. It might be 1,200 square foot. It's probably... Let's just say it is. Let's just say it's twelve hundred square foot, not including the garage. I don't think it's that big. Got a huge living room area. It's kind of like a den, living room, and a, a place to eat. You know. Then you got a kitchen with another offset there, but you could have a nook in front of the back end of it. And there's there's two storage buildings that go with it. We're about about five six years ago. There's about thirty grand worth of right there too. Right. Well, uh, I'm just going to be honest with you. The, the issue that I'm facing is that all of the properties that are worth more than what you're asking, they have some kind of waterfront access and, and yours doesn't. And so that, that leads me to the one across the street, which sold for 113, but it, it didn't need any work. You know, I mean, they, they don't have any waterfront access either. Though. I know that's what I'm saying, but that would be my comp, but it didn't, they had already remodeled it, but yours needs all the work that's that fine. you're telling me about. So you don't, you don't want to go over what it's worth and you don't want it. Correct. All right. Well, thank you, Charles. Bye-bye. Like Some Man. people just want to believe their house is worth more than it is. Oh, uh, I thought I thought that was going to be so good. All the way <laughs> said it appraised for this, <laughs> and I want more. Oh man, why? Why are you doing this to me? Well, this house is worth top dollar, don't you know, RJ? For real. <laughs> Sounds like he's talked to a lot of people too. He said no one wants to pay this. Well, Charles, that should that should probably tell you something, buddy. Lizzie. Come on, Lizzie. Please leave your message for seven eight six two eight one six seven two five. Hey, Lizzie, this is RJ Bates. Uh, you had entered your information on our website about selling your property on President's Cup Way. If you could, give me a call back at 817-915-6860. Thank you. Could this be a whale? It is in Austin. I don't know. Your call has been forwarded to an automated. Your call has been forwarded. That's a bummer. That was a good one. We'll hit that one again. No, no, no. He he's looking at his phone right now. He just tried to call me and he hung up. When he when he I triple dialed him and when he hung up on me, he accidentally called me back and then he hung up. So Ricardo, so far we've got three three pickups from people, and all three of them are wanting way more than their property's ever been worth.
I just based that elite in Vegas in the private chat. Um, it's a newer lead. That's probably going to be bought. I think we should before it gets bought. It's it's like bad condition. Three bed, two bath. I got it. Relocating and financial reasons. Uh, there's no mortgage on it. Free and clear in Vegas. I like this lead. That's a hot lead right there. Destiny. Please leave your message for 702. It's high-speed lead, This next next one in the private chat is in an inherited property near Indianapolis. Please leave your message for inherited vacant, no mortgage. Mm -hmm. ASAP, they want to sell it. Forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Hello. Hello. Um, I was calling about the property at 4310 Victory Boulevard. Yes. Yeah, you had entered your information on our website about selling that. Is now a good time? Sure. Excellent. So tell me a little bit about what's going on with that property. I inherited the house from my aunt. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I live about four hours away, so it's a little inconvenient for me to keep running back and forth. <laughs> right. I've got half of it painted. I've got all the paint and everything there <clears throat> to finish it up. I just, I've been sick, so I haven't made it down there in a month. <clears throat> but it's in good condition. It's three bedroom, two car attached garage, two full baths. Um, you said it was three bedrooms? Yes, three bedroom. Gotcha. Two full baths, two car attached garage. And you said you're painting it. Does it need anything else besides the paint? No, not really. I was going to change the flooring in it. I had, I was working with another company who said they had a buyer, but that fell through. They've kind of shoved me to the wayside. <laughs> the girl I was working with, I guess, got fired and never got back to me. And I didn't find out till yesterday. Oh. So because I had I had a deal, I was supposed to close in November. Like I said, they, she just never got back to me, and I got back to her, and I had emailed her and asked, you know, what was going on, because I didn't want to make a four-hour drive down there, and I just never heard anything back. Like I said, another lady called and said she was no longer working for the company. Was that a realtor, or was it a, an investor, or what, what? An investor. Oh, I see. <laughs> so the investor was bringing a buyer, so they were wholesaling the property? Um, I don't know, because... When the, the first lady that I was talking to came in, took videos, took pictures, 
um, wrote me a cash offer right there on the spot, said we'd close in two weeks, and that was the last I heard from her. She told me that they only had two investors that they worked with, and they paid cash, and everything was done. And like I said, I just never heard anything back from her. <laughs> I see. Well, unfortunately, there's a, there's a lot of people in this industry just like that, so... And it happens from time to time. So I'm sorry you yeah. had to experience that. What? Well, it, it, it was it was my first time trying to do anything. I actually thought it was a real estate company that was coming out because I wanted to get their advice on, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of painting. I've got half of the house done. Right. Um, and I was going to put in new floors, the bathrooms and the kitchen. They're, they're not bad. It's just I needed I wanted to update it. And I had thought it was a realtor, so I wanted to ask her opinion mm -hmm. as to, you know, what, what I should do because I had some different ideas. There's an entryway in a hall, and the first bathroom is off that hall. So I was thinking about doing the wood all the way through the entryway and down the hallway so it, I didn't have to break it up. Right. But, yeah, it turns out she wasn't a realtor. She's just somebody that worked for a company. And I see. You know, if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. <laughs> right. If you don't mind me asking, how much did they offer on the property? One hundred forty-eight. Gotcha. I asked for I asked for one hundred and sixty. They offered me one hundred and forty-eight, which is what I accepted. I think that might have been the problem. I'm uh, I'm gonna be real. I I think that might be the issue. I think what they were trying to do is wholesale the property, which what that means is is they get the property. Um, under contract with the seller, and then they're going to sell that contract to another investor for a fee. Um, and so what it sounds like to me is, is she probably went out there and she locked it up and she locked it up too high and she wasn't able to sell it. So instead of just coming to you and being honest with you and saying, Hey, look, we don't have any buyers that want to buy this property at this price. And just being honest with you and saying we need to terminate or we need to adjust the price to where our buyers actually need to be. They just ghosted you, um, which is unfortunate. But because uh, what I'm seeing in the area, I mean, I'm seeing properties going in the range of, you know, I see this one at 4613 Citation Circle. I mean, this thing was remodeled. It's got new flooring throughout. They've updated the kitchen some. Um, I'm going through the pictures right now. Um, that sold for, for 160. So if that sold for 160, you have to think about it from an investor standpoint. If they're, if they're going to be paying 148, um, that doesn't leave any room to come in and, and buy the property, do the work, holding costs, plus closing costs on the back end, if they want to sell it, or even if they want to hold it as a rental. So I just well, think- I have, I actually have the biggest one out there, the biggest uh, uh, building, and there's one around the corner from me. They sold for two twenty five. It's just, it's just a few feet smaller than what I have. So I'm seeing your square foot is thirteen eighty eight. Is that not correct? No, it's eighteen. Eighteen something. Okay, so let's let's be. Let me make sure I'm looking at the right property here. So I've got forty three ten Victory Boulevard mm -hmm. in Indianapolis, Indiana. Yes. And did you in? Your aunt, was that Berna Walker? Yes. Okay. So let me go to a different site so I can get accurate information. If this site's telling me 1388, let me go to my other resource. Give me two seconds here. Because that's telling me that, was there an addition done to the property or is that just how no. it was built? Okay. Let's see what this one says. And it's, I'm, I'm basing it off the taxes. Right. <clears throat> So, uh, prop stream is my other one. It says the lot size is 1781, but the square foot of the property is 1388. Huh. So both uh, the lot, the, the, my lot, I, my lot is huge. It's, it's bigger than the house. Are you, are, are you, is that a total you're saying of the 17? It and says it says building area thirteen eighty eight, living area thirteen eighty eight, and there's no basement, correct? No. And it says the garage is four oh four. So are you including the garage into your your live livable square footage? That 
maybe I don't know. I've never actually measured it. <laughs> right. So that that's what this is. Is that um, I'm, the, the I'm, building I'm, is eighteen hundred, but the livable square footage is thirteen eighty eight. Okay, that might that might be where I was getting that from. Right. Hmm. Okay. Well, going back to you said there's a property going for two twenty five. Let me. I don't. They sold it. Yeah, I think it was last year. Ah, that's why I I don't go back that far. I only go back yeah, six months yeah. in in my comps. Yeah, um, because I don't I don't even remember her name. But the 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 realtor that had sold that house had gotten in touch with me. Right. And at that point, I wasn't even near ready. I mean, I had to get everything out, and <laughs> I've just been trying to get down there monthly and do a little here and a little there. Was that fifty nine twenty six Victory Avenue? I'm not sure. Okay. I do see that sold for, for 205. So I'm getting some more additional information here on, on prop stream than I was on my initial um, site. So this is good. Let me, let me dive yeah, a little. I, 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 I don't know if the 225 was the asking or the selling. It might be, I know it went over, it was over 200. Right. So I've got 4340 victory went for 122. That was smaller. And there must, yeah. there must've been something that's, going on there. It's also says that's a condo. Yeah, it's two bedroom. Yeah. Uh, 5926 went for 205. 4326 lucky went for 180. 4244 victory went for 199. So you could easily say that that 200 would be the the full market value if it was fixed up. So let's let's see. Yeah, like I said, it really it doesn't need a whole lot. The floors are not in bad shape. They're just outdated. You know, they're original. Right. So, what about the the countertops? What do those look like? They're good. The, 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 everything. My aunt never cooks, so the. <laughs> what what material are they? Um, linoleum. Linoleum. Okay. Vinyl. Let me. Linoleum. Let me give me two seconds here. Let me let me look and see if that's important or not. What about the? Um, brand new refrigerator the furnace is new the air conditioner is new the hot water tank i believe that's a year old it's basically new um the washer and dryer i think are about two years old they never they barely very rarely get used my aunt passed away over a year ago so <clears throat> i am uh i'm actually in a similar situation and i'm sorry to hear about your aunt's passing my my grandmother passed away in late 2019 and so i ended up because my dad passed away in 2012 i ended up being an heir to her estate and i'm now inherited multiple properties that i'm having to deal with and it's kind That's of a, a <laughs> it is it's kind of a it's a it's a tricky situation because i mean obviously it's a blessing on our lives that we inherited something from them passing, but then there's the the grieving aspect of the fact that they passed, and then there's also the, the hey, nightmare of the paperwork, right? Well, the, that, and then also just trying to understand, like, okay, well, this wasn't in the the plans here for me to inherit this, so right. what, what should I do now? Um, well, I I knew I was going to inherit it, but I came into so much trouble going through the court systems because the lawyer didn't write the will in the right way. So I had to hire another lawyer and go back through court. And it just was one thing after another, after another. And like I said, I live, I live up by Chicago. So it takes me depending on traffic, you know, three, three and a half, four hours to get down there, right. which I got to, you know, I go down monthly. I've got mostly everything cleared out. Um, there's the, there's twin beds and two of the bedrooms or well, there's a twin bed in each one. And then I've got the full size bed and one dresser and the other one, but I've pretty much got everything cleared out um, except for the living room. Is there a, a Creek of some sort that runs through that neighborhood? Mm, not that I know of. I think there's one on the other side of the street, the other side of the highway. I think they have a pond. Um, I've never seen anything, but then I've never really been, running around there it is an hoa which i'll tell you what it's better than what i have here <laughs> they do everything they do they, they cut your grass they do your trimming they do all your snow removal they do everything for you there 
Mine does nothing. I cut, I pay three hundred up here, and that one's only ninety down there. Ninety a month. Uh huh. Gotcha. Yeah, but like I said, they do everything. You don't have to do anything there other than take your garbage can down and bring it up. <laughs> right. I was just Which looking. Nice. I was looking at that one across the street that that sold for two hundred five, and yeah. it, it's got a a pond in the backyard. It's crazy. There, that's what that is. Is there's a little like pond in the back. But I don't think it added a whole lot of value because I've got forty four hundred four Winters Court, and it doesn't have that, and it sold for the same price. So I'm trying to look at the pictures to see. the The only yeah, difference the there is that one is a little bit bigger, and it had a third bathroom. So that that's the issue there. I, I, mm. Yeah, I'm I'm right off the main street, so I've never really been around in the subdivision. My uh, HOA guy's two doors down or three doors down from me, so uh, I just give him a check for six months at a time. I mean, if I were, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm I'm going to be less than what your your previous offer was going to be, but I, I I think there's a number that I can get fairly close to that is are you going to be able to kind of work with me there a little bit on the price yes okay because the issue that i'm seeing is is i mean you know i i'm probably going to need to do the floors i know you said they're not in in bad shape but just based off of the comps that i'm looking at i mean it looks like that needs to be done and i know i need to finish the painting it doesn't seem like the linoleum countertops in the, the kitchen is going to be that big of a deal. Um, you said the washer and dryer new, but what about like the, the stove and the, the oven? Needs a stove. Okay. Because I, 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 I was going to go buy it that day when the lady came and she said, don't do anything. We'll take it as is. And then, you know, she drew up the contract, which I had her right in there because I hadn't got everything out that I needed to get out of there. She said, just you can take whatever you want and just leave whatever you don't want. I was got a dining room set, a nice dining room set in there too. Gotcha. So, so I, I don't know if that's something, you know, if I could, you know, if you want any of that furniture. If I no, 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 no. I, I don't. The only thing I would want would be the appliances. I don't want anything else. I want the, the washer and dryer, the, the stove, all the appliances need to stay. Um, yeah, well, I have nowhere to put them. <laughs> right. And, uh, Outside of the stove, what about the oven? Is it black, white, stainless steel? It's it's one piece. It's it's electric. It's gotcha. an electric range. It, yeah. It, no, I need a new one. Yeah, it that needs that. That came from my aunt's original apartment, so it's like fifty some years old. It no, it needs to go. <laughs> gotcha. It, it, it's it's not even worth anything. I doubt anybody would even pick it up if I took it to the road. Gotcha. And what about the uh, the bathrooms? Bathrooms are in tip top shape. When were they last? Like, what does the shower surround look like? It's just a regular tub shower. Gotcha. So it's got the white walls and then lin yep. linoleum flooring. Yep. And then the vanity. And those those, those would be nothing. I mean, they're t they're tiny. In the master, there's a when you when you. In between, like, the bathroom and the um, master, there's a double sink. It's kind of like a half a triangle shape. It's angled. There's two big sinks. There's a big counter. There's a humongous, the walk-in closet is as big as my bedroom. <laughs> it's got a real nice, nice that's the one thing I'm, I'm going to hate giving up is that walk-in closet. <laughs> right. But, um. And what, what flooring's in yeah. the bathrooms? I'm sorry. What flooring it's, is it's it? It's the same linoleum that's in the kitchen. Gotcha. And they're, they're tiny. It would be, I, my brother was going to help me do it, but we went down in November. He wanted one of my couches because I had two living rooms. That's in the living room. And he tore his bicep and tricep tendons and muscles. He just had surgery last week to mm. repair all that. Because I told him, don't take that one. It's the sleeper sofa and it's about 3,000 pounds. As he found out trying to get it up the door and ripped everything. So, yeah, but anyways, no, because I owned a flooring store, so I know how to do it. I just needed his assistance in the kitchen, the bathrooms I could do myself. That's no big deal. Right. They're not, they're not big. Right. So I, can knock, I can knock them out. The worst part's going to be just taking the toilet up and putting it back. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, let me check one more thing here and and see so I can get you a number and see if we're we're playing the same ball game over here. Interesting. All right. Are you in that area? I'm not. I'm not, but um, you called the right person because I, I actually do a lot of business in Indianapolis. I, I'm, I live in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, oh, I was say, yeah, it came from the call came from Texas. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm a, a nationwide real estate investor. So listen, down here, it's crazy. Like I just talked to a guy right outside of, of Dallas, Fort Worth. And, and he's like, look, my property pays for 105,000. If you're not willing to pay me more then we can just get off the phone. Oh, no, that's not even right. You can't. <laughs> and, and, and he's like, and it needs work. And I'm like, yeah. dude, yeah, you, this... just, you just literally talked to me for 20 minutes about all the work that needs to be done on your property. And then yeah. you're telling me I have to pay more than what it would be worth. I mean, this is insanity. You know, yeah. I'm like, I can't do that. So that's why I do a lot of business outside of the, the state of Texas, because I, I talk to people like you and you're reasonable. You're like, look, this is what needs to be done. The stove doesn't yeah. work, you know, and he's paint. It might need new floor. And it's like, okay. And let's... And the paint, there's two big five gallon buckets of paint still there. So I right. I'm like, I'll leave the paint. You have it. It's not going to do me any good. And I just want white. <laughs> right. I figured if I wanted to do something afterwards, but I just wanted to get it because it's never been painted. But, and I had actually hired somebody to come in the same day as the, the lady came over because the ceilings in the living room, kitchen, and master are all vaulted. So they're like 20, 25 feet. I don't know. They're, they're, I, more, I'm 60. I, I'm not climbing up on a ladder to do those. Right. <laughs> the bathrooms are done. I was starting on one of the bedrooms because I got, I got both the other bedrooms emptied. And she said, don't do anything. So I didn't do anything. And I wished I would have while I was there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm just checking one last thing just to make sure we're good. And I think we are. All right. I'm thinking. I need to probably be. Around 130 to make this deal work for me. That would work. Okay. I said, you know, I'm, I'm spending a thousand dollars a month just on, you know, maintenance. And, you know, I've got the electricity and the water and everything on. And it's, it's silly for me to have to pay, you know, monthly bills when I don't live there because I've got the cable hooked up. Actually, I've got two cables. I got to get down and return the boxes before I get charged for those. <laughs> right. Well, would you like for me to go ahead and send over an agreement for you to take a look at and have it? Have me walk you through it so you understand what you're agreeing to. That would be fine. What is? Hold on a second. I'm trying to. Of course, I got to get the only pen that's not going to write. What is your name? My name is R.J. Bates. Okay. Yeah, that that would be. I'm sorry. All right. Well, let me. It takes oh, me just a couple work. minutes here to to write these up. So give me just two seconds while I do that. You made my night. Now, now I now I can uh, go home and and watch some football in oh, peace. There you go. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The only, the only thing I would ask, like I said, I I need to get in. I've got the cable boxes I have to return because I had direct and then I had Comcast come and hook that up the same day that the lady came and she's like, so I called them instantly and canceled it because I have thirty days. Right. So I didn't get charged, but I've got to return their equipment so I don't get charged for it. <clears throat> and is there a lot box on the property so we can access it? There is. Oh, let me get the calendar. I think it's 3422 is the code for it. What is going to be the, the seller's name on this? Because is it going to be like the estate of? No, no, it's, it's in my name. Gotcha. I finally got the paperwork from the. Uh, and so that's Jamie Lope. No, 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 that's the wrong one. I'm sorry. Hold Alana. on. A L A N A Z I N N E L three four two two is the lockbox number. There we go. I got your email and everything over here. All right. Yep, it's really my right. just my name at yahoo.com.
T I N N E L, correct? Correct. Mm, all right. And then legal description. There's that. So when you entered your stuff on the website, did you think that this was uh, going to work out or were you kind of rolling your eyes? Uh, after the last one, I was a little skeptical. <laughs> I, I don't blame you. Well, it, like I said, it's just the fact we, we signed, a, I signed a contract. And right. she said, you know, we're going to close in two weeks. No advance or much, just, you know, get whatever you want. I had made arrangements for somebody to come down with a truck and move some of the stuff that I needed to get out of there. And anyways, she just never really got back to me. Right. So. Well, we'll be a little bit more proactive through the process. Um, we'll, we'll. Miss Cassandra will be calling you and uh, to walk you through the, the whole process there. Um, I'm going to put TBD for the title company because I don't want to take up too much of your time trying to load that up. Um, I, Eagle, Eagle Ridge or Eagle was one of them. It's on my phone, but I can't get to it. Well, we, we have one that we use there. It's just in order for me to look it up, I'd, I'd have to go pull open all this other junk and... It's already yeah. taking me longer than what I wanted to take doing this. So, um, Mr. Milburn is the um, HOA. He has all my paperwork. You know, he's got all the letters from my lawyer and everything showing from the courts. You know that it was transferred over to me. Right. There's nothing, nothing owed on it. Blah 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 blah. I got you. He's got, he's got all my legal paperwork just in case. I gave it to him just in case you know somebody needed it. Right. All right. That should work. Let's get this uh, put in the DocuSign and it'll be right over in your email in about 45 seconds. As long as the internet cooperates. <laughs> yeah, these things are supposed to make your life easier and they're sometimes rather annoying right i remember back in the day when i got contracts i had to drive all the way to the person's house and get them to sign it in person so this is a, a much easier way to do business now i laugh because i've got people that come and work for me and they complain about doing business nowadays and it's like Oh, yeah. oh, that's cute. You just, you don't know. We have so many tools available to us now. Yeah, the trick is trying to learn how to use them. I'm, I'm so computer illiterate, it's not funny. I always have to have my granddaughter come over and show me how to do stuff. Right. Well, I was blessed that I grew up in the... I'm the last generation that had to do stuff without technology and the first generation that did stuff with technology. So it's like, I I know how to do it both ways. And the fact that I, I got to do it both ways definitely makes me realize the technology is a lot better. I'm, I'm thankful that we got it. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was around back when the computers were humongous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> feed the, the print paper in on them little spindles. Oh, yeah. Which always jammed up. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm sending it over to you right now. It'll come from DocuSign, but it'll also say Titanium Documents on it. Do I have to sign something? You're going to touch the screen like four times. your 
weather down there? Um, today was gorgeous. It was like 75 degrees and, nice. but you know, we're Texas, so it's going to be yeah. stupid. I mean, it'll be 80 tomorrow and then it'll be like 20 <laughs> on Friday and, yeah. and we'll all get sick and, you know, so, oh, yeah. all right. You should have it in, in your email now. Nope. There it is. It just came up. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Review document. Oh. Open. All right, why is this not opening? Oh, there we go. I missed it. Okay, there it is. Buyer pays closing costs. Okay, now I am able to take stuff out, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I want you to take the stuff out. Well, there's probably, since my brother is tied up for the next six months after surgery, I'm not going to be able to get everything out of there. That's fine. I mean, uh -huh. just, uh, you know, don't leave me too big of a mess. Oh, no, no. It's it's clean, but, like, I don't have any worries. A, there's a nice dining set. And there, I, I don't have anywhere to put it. I, I have the three beds and one dresser. There's, I've got pretty much everything. I've got. I, I just have to get. My, I've got two TVs there, and I've got to get the equipment back to uh, Comcast. Gotcha. Okay, now this is what I'm not good at. Sign. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Adopt and sign. Yep. Required and share. So it'll ask for three initials and one signature. Okay, let me try this button. You should just be able to click on the little yellow tags. I think. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, maybe it. Maybe I don't click on it too many times. Let's try this. See if that worked. You received a request. You signed. Sender has been notified. You signed it. It's over. It's good. It's all oh, over. You made it so much easier. <laughs> you you signed. I had one for my attorney. I couldn't for the life of me get it to sign. And they're like, "Well, go into this, go into that." I'm like, "Look, you're you're talking to somebody. Yeah, I can turn it on and I can turn it off." <laughs> well, maybe. I ended up just printing signing it and sending it in. <laughs> Maybe it was just meant to be that you were supposed to sell this property to me and that's why it was so easy. Yeah, so that's what it is. <laughs> there you go. So the only thing that will what will happen now is is we'll begin opening escrow. So we'll do that in the morning. So Cassie will do that. Um and then Cassie should call you probably tomorrow. Uh, but sometimes she gets really mad when I say she'll call tomorrow because things could happen. You know? Okay, so yeah, I'm tied up in the afternoon. I have to take my mom in uh, to the hospital. Okay. So, so can she call you in the morning? Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. If, if she doesn't get back to me tomorrow, that's fine. I think my mom's appointment's at 2. Okay. Well, if she calls you in the morning, um, great. Um, the, will we'll it be a Texas number? It will be. Okay, because I have to change my phone. Because if it, if it doesn't come up with a number that I allow it, <laughs> it'll block it. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, so she'll call and uh, she'll go over like, hey, how do we gain access? What's the lot box code? Here's how long it should take. Here's how long we'll probably enter the property and and all of that. And she'll just walk you through the whole process. She's a lot better at details. I'm just really good at buying the properties and, and then I, I go on and go watch football and do things like that. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's football time. <laughs> exactly. So, Get off the phone. Right? <laughs> All right. Well, it was great talking to you and uh, look forward to, to getting this deal done for you. And I'm sorry you had that bad experience with the other investor. So hopefully uh, 
we uh, we show you how easy this can actually be. Ralph, I said, everything happens for a reason. I was just waiting for you to come along. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. You have a great night, Thank okay? You. All right. Thank you as well. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That is how right. done, everybody. What did you expect? What did you expect? <laughs> one one down. More to go. One down. One like down. Nine more to go tonight. That's not bad at all, man. That's sweet. Next up. Next up. Now, everybody, for all 90 of you guys watching right now, first off, that's a crazy number of you guys watching us close. Or RJ close. That's not even us. That's RJ, man. But make sure that you guys share the stream on Facebook. I'm going to put the link in the chat in a moment once i find it and once i put that link you guys are going to go to the facebook share it it enters you into a giveaway to get a one thousand dollars uh a one thousand dollars is one thousand dollars in pay-per-click leads for free so uh oh my microphone fell so here's people are asking about the details of the deal so a couple of things um i'm seeing if property sold upwards of 220 in the area um, we got it for 130. Um, it does sound like it needs a little bit of work um, as far as paint, flooring, some appliances. Uh, but she rattled off a lot of the systems that are in really good shape, heater, AC, um, windows, things like that. Um, but that hits one of our hedge funds buy boxes. So Ooh. that for me was the, the selling moment when I, I don't know if you guys caught that when I said, let me check one more thing. What I was doing was, is I was entering it into the hedge funds buy box to see. And oh, when you say about hit, the floors thing. Yeah. So when I, when I saw that, it was like, okay, boom. Um, that's, that's where we'll probably end up dispo in that deal. So, and the Dang. answer, Steve, no, Steve, um, that was not in our market. That was Indianapolis, um, Indiana, but we do deals in Indianapolis, but um, that's not one of our, I mean, we don't live there, so. Let's go get one way outside of our, our area. Um, for any of my Check. team that's watching, um, I'm out. I would need a refill. And my microphone just fell, so hold on one second. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I need a team like that, man. Dude, Gene, do right? Man. Do the refills. I'm just sitting here in my studio. I need a refill team. That's what it comes down to. <laughs> I'm not drinking. I I got so excited. I ordered like an extra jack, and I'm like, I'm already feeling them. Uh, I'm, I, I'm, I switched the water for this next round. All right. It is what it is. The microphone fell, and we're just going to work around it. Let's buy a deal in Maine because I, like, oh, yeah. I like my Maine logo. Everybody, make sure that you tag Aaron Bevins. Make sure that you tag Aaron Bevins because uh, – Hello, is Aaron there? Hey, Eric, this is uh, RJ Bates calling you about your property on Moose Neck Road there. Uh, you had entered it on our website saying you're interested in selling it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, tell me what you got going on with that property. Uh, nothing really. I mean, it's it's got a house that's actually 80% done, and it's been sitting there. Basically, it's in storage now. Stuff is stored there. It's got a unpatched garage with an apartment upstairs on it. It's got a little over a half acre of land right on the ocean. It's got a deep water dock sitting there. Other than that, there's nothing to say. Gotcha. So you said 80% done. What's the 20% that still needs to be done? Well, I mean, the whole inside got to be basically we, we bought the material for the floor and stuff, and the walls got to be finished and uh, the plumbing's got to be put in. See. All right. And how much are you wanting for the property? I don't know. That's what I was just wondering. What it was, you know, what I could get out of it. I see. Is the square foot of the property 547 square feet? You know, it, it, to me, that doesn't sound right. It's got 30 by 10. It's, it's got to be at least 800 in the house and whatever you got in the garage up here in the apartment that's where i'm staying in the apartment i got gotcha. you and how come you're looking to sell the property well we moved up here and my old lady took off and i bought the house for her basically and 
she started to tear it apart and fixing it up and then took off. Let's see. But then again, then we're, you know, we're talked about moving down south and getting out of here. Well, I'm from down south. I'm in Texas. What part of uh, down south do you want to go to? Well, we started out looking about two weeks ago in New Mexico, and we looked in Texas, and then she's she's missing her grandkids and all that shit, so now we're looking in Maryland. See, from people down south, we don't consider Maryland south. Okay, yeah, I, know, well, I know it's I, south for you, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm right on the... I mean, the Canadian border's not that far from here. Yeah, I know. You know, one of the things that really bothered us up here is there's no there's no people up here. <laughs> I see. I'm looking I at. Mean, I mean, I got to go to Walmart. I got to drive an hour and a half. Ooh. You know, I know Texas is. You know, I've been through Texas and all that. I picked up a couple dogs back in August down in Tyler, Texas. But, I mean, I've driven through Texas from California to go to Houston. Right. I mean, these are miles of nothing. Up here, it's just, I mean, you know, point A to point B, if the crow flew, it's like 10 miles. Other than that, it's 50 because of the coastline. Right. Well... I mean, I'm I'm looking at this. I mean, to be honest with you, I there's like there's zero comps. Like there's there's nothing that sold anywhere around there. Uh, yeah, there was there was three or four properties that sold here in the summer. I know, but they're they're not the same square footage. I mean, there's just there's nothing that's like similar to your property. I mean, right. it, yeah, well, most most of them there's nothing around. It's on the ocean. That's where I'm on. Right. You know. I mean, the houses that did sell were, were sitting across the roads. and I mean, I looked at some of those, too, before we got this one. And we had big plans. We were going to fix everything up and rent this out as a B&B in it. And, and then she took off and found some guy. And uh, hopefully we get back together. But then it's another story. I got gotcha. you. I mean, just realistically, I mean, it, it's. It's going to take me some time to figure out a number. I mean, I might have to do a lot of research. I mean, yeah, do, I, do, I, you, do you have a do you have a number in mind? I mean, that you're you're thinking. You know, I, I, I don't know. I really don't. I got some people coming to appraise it this weekend. I see. You know, to see see what you know what it's worth. So, are are they coming to just appraise it to tell you what it's worth, or are they coming to make you an offer? No, they're just coming to tell me what it's worth. I see. Well, I mean, do you want to wait on them? I mean, you, you got me on the phone. I mean, I might be interested to buy it, but I, I, I have no idea what you're thinking as far as value goes. And I mean, you know, I mean, I've looked at the values online and shit like that, and they range anywhere from like 170 to 100 or 212 and shit like that. But, you know, I don't know. I got you. I, it's 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 one of those things. I mean, the property. I mean, shit. Nah, never mind. I won't even say it. But I mean, shit. It's a beautiful piece of property. I mean, it looks like it's amazing. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it could be a really cool property. But why don't I do this? Why don't I um? Why don't I talk to to one of my my friends up there? Her name's Heather. Um, and and she knows more about this area than I do. Why don't I call her tomorrow morning and just see what she thinks about this? And and I can give you a call tomorrow and see if there's something that we can do with this, okay? Okay, sounds like a plan. All right, man, I'll call you then. Okay, thanks. All right, bye. Patrick, are you paying attention? I I think there might be something here, but I'm not going to sit here and try to analyze a main deal all night long. We got people to entertain. So. <laughs> can, did, we, did we call that Vegas leader? Or you did they not pick up when we? They first didn't called? answer. I triple dialed them. You did? Oh, okay. But you Is know that, what? Y'all gave me another one in the private chat. I didn't I didn't call this Wayne. The Michigan one? Yeah, let me call him. Yeah, that's 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 basically Flint, Michigan. Oh. I've only heard bad shit about Flint, Michigan. Yeah. I don't know if that was like a long time ago or what? The Joel GM thing? Yeah. Let's 
We'll see how water crisis. We'll see how good how their water is. (laughs) Not as good as that beer. The mailbox belonging to Wayne is full. Yeah, Wayne. Wayne gets a lot of calls. Debt collectors. All right. What are we on to next? Let's go to another Texas one. You know what's funny for the people watching? I don't drink. I, I literally just. Hello. Hi, is Jose there? Yes, sir. Hey, Jose. Uh, I was calling you about your property at e- on Eagle Pass. Um, you had entered it on our website, uh, saying you were interested in selling that property. You still looking to sell that one? Uh, where are you calling from? Uh, my name's R.J. Bates, and I'm calling from Titanium Investments. Uh, that's because I made a, a an equity loan on it. And I think I'm closing on the 12, I believe. Okay, so you're not looking to sell the property any longer? Not at this moment. All right, thank you so much. All right. Damn, that was quick. Cool, bro. He sold that shit fast. That's what happened when you guys don't buy the the fucking leads. Shit gets closed. He (laughs) says, uh, we got a home equity line of credit today. Ooh, San Antonio. Yes. Then we can tag Aaron Bevins. It's the next one, not this one. Hello? Hi, is Nicole there? Yeah, that's her. Hey, Nicole, this is RJ. I was calling about your property at 334 Washington Street. How you doing tonight? Yeah. You uh you filled out a, a form on our website saying that you were interested in selling that property. You still looking to sell it? Yeah. Awesome. Well, tell me a little bit about the property. What you got going on with it? Um. Well, the guy that lives in the the house is now deceased, and it's my boyfriend's father. And him, he kind of has to go through Pyramid Court. To get hit the title, but we can't afford the the um, lawyer. We have to have a lawyer, and I don't know any lawyers that take payments or anything like that. But um, I know a lawyer is very expensive, but the foundation is bad. The roof needs replaced, and the basement um, needs repairs. I see. Okay. Um, how long has the property been vacant? Uh, just a few days. Oh, okay. So he just recently passed away. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, is is there anybody else that's going to be involved with the, the probate process? No. Okay. All right. Well, let me, let me pull up this information. So, I see that the owners were Diana and Robert. Is it Robert that yeah, passed away? Divorced, so. I see. And how long ago did they divorce? Uh, over 20 years ago. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. <clears throat> did you have an idea of how much you were wanting to get for the property? Best offer I can get out of it. Let's see. Have you had any offers yet? Um, not really, because they said, let's come up with, they usually say, let's figure up. Um, I had one offer that was ten to 15000 because of all the repairs that needed, and there's back taxes on it, too. Hmm. And um, the tax, the treasurer woman said that we had to pay, had to have half down because it's so high. And if they, we don't have half of the pro- uh, property or the house taxes, half of it, 
at least half of it. They they're just gonna take it and sell it. I see. Hmm. Okay. This is um this is a pretty complicated situation here. There's a there's a lot going on. Um I said this is kind of a complicated situation. There's a there's a lot going on here. Um because yeah. there's a lot of work that needs to be done on the property and and the the property values in the area are really not not that great, you know. Well, it's actually um pub is near Putman, which was an historic area gotcha like, and there's a gas well that's active on the property too okay um the the, the person that offered you 10 to fifteen thousand. i mean did they actually give you an not like they were willing to to write a contract for that or was that just like them verbally throwing that out that, a, that was verbally an estimate I see. They just wanted me to, they, to. I just asked him what his estimate of the value, and he gave me that estimate. And um, he said, "Whatever you can come up with, and you think that we can agree on, then let me know." That's what he said. I see. Um, do you have any idea how much the back taxes are? Um, only six thousand, like four dollars from six thousand. Okay. I, I I mean I'm just gonna be honest with you. I, I really don't know that our offer would be much higher than that. Um just because I mean I'm I'm looking at like a property that sold at 410 Luck Avenue, just right down the road, and it sold for nine thousand. Um and it, it needed some work, but I don't know if it needed a significant work what you're saying this property needs. So just, just being completely honest with you, because I'm not in this business to to take advantage of people or anything like that. I truly believe that there's probably someone out there that's better suited to help you with this property. Um, yeah. It's probably going to be someone that's local. Um, so I, I think you should probably over the next couple of days burn up your phone and try to find someone an investor that's local to zanesville because i'm not local to zanesville and really right. try to find someone there that could come in and help you with that whole situation because i think they're going to be better equipped to help you than than i would be on this one uh -huh. okay so i would try i would try searching you know sell my house fast zanesville um uh probate house zanesville just things like that um and and find somebody there because i think they're going to be better suited and, and maybe understand the market a little bit better than i would this just seems like it's going to be really tight and and honestly not even beneficial for you to go through the whole process um if i were to come in and, and try to help you and i just i think there's probably someone out there that's better suited to help you okay right all right. Well, I'm sorry I can't be your solution because I always try to be. Uh, but hopefully you'll you'll find somebody there that's better suited to help you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. She sounded like she had a few of what you're drinking. Uh, she had a few more than me. <laughs> a few more, and that was uh, that was rough. Property selling. 37,000, 15,000, 7,000. And it's, this one sounds like it's almost falling down and geez, no, it's not a she fun one. A little more than it's worth. It's not a, not a fun one to inherit. On top of it made me even wonder like, is the story you're telling me true?
Please leave your message for Olivia Flores. Mm. We're going to call that one back. That was that was my San Antonio lead. Weatherford, yes, definitely want this one. Hey, William, this is RJ Bates calling you about 2202 Summerbrook Drive. You'd entered your information on our website saying you were interested in selling that property. If you could give me a call back at 817-915-6860. Thank you. Hey, this is a good Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to remind everybody that if you share this on Facebook and subscribe to the YouTube, that's how you get entered into the giveaway to win $1,000 in free pay-per-click leads at the end of the night. Roger, I tried doing the cliffhangers all day yesterday. It didn't work. Not saying they don't. I'm sorry, work. the person you were you talking to has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please. Cliffhanger that non voicemail person. Oh, an 808 phone number. From Hawaii. Hawaii, wow. I just pasted a private chat in Delaware behind on their mortgage. Okay, cool. Old State Road. Old Porter Road. Ah, call that one next. Old Town Road. Right till I can't no more. Do you know? Raj is going to take his horse. That's impressive. What was that three in a row that didn't even have a voicemail? They know it's you calling. They're afraid they're going to get their home sold. Right. Well, they say they want to sell it, you know? <laughs> they don't actually. They just want an offer. Right. Myron, listening to live calls, it's like crack, man. Your 
Hey, Jacqueline, this is RJ Bates from Titanium Investments. To reach out to you about your property on Old Porter Road, you had entered it on our website saying that you were interested to get an offer. Uh, if you could give me a call back at 817-915-6860. Thank you. RJ, we've got like 100 people on this thing, man. I I know you're trying to fucking call as many as you can, but yeah. tell people about the Titanium Crucible, brother. I, I, I mean, I heard so many reviews just from people that are members on ice B, like name and other people right what do, what, what do people get a titanium crucible man I, I i think people i want i want our tribe to make more money yeah well i want uh, to know about this <laughs> the the crucible is a, a two-day boot camp at our office where we're going to show you everything that we do here um at titanium investments you know i mean you're you're going to get our entire marketing flow you're going to understand the the documents we use, the systems that we use, the processes that we built around those systems. Um, and we, we fully break down our entire system. You're going to meet our entire team as well. It's not just me standing up on stage. Uh, you get to go break bread with my entire team. You know, we go to breakfast, lunch, we go ax throwing together and we, we have a good time. And uh, it's just about, you know, showing you what titanium does and how we do it. I mean, uh, there's a hundred plus people that showed up here tonight to, to watch me close deals. Um, that's just one of the things that I do. It, it takes a lot to get to this point. You know, I'm, I'm getting teed up with, with leads tonight, which is another part of our business, right? I mean, uh, Gene's teeing us up with leads all the time. Um, that's, that's one of the things in our business, but we, we go out and we don't sit on our hands and just wait on that um you know we're savages over here so we do sms we do cold calling uh we do direct mail and we do ppc as well and and we're constantly wanting to generate uh leads for our acquisitions guys and uh, we want to show you how to do the exact same thing in your business and then you know further down the road after you leave it's a community just like you know any other education platform we have a facebook group where we do um live zoom calls um every single monday and then we also have a hotline that's set up for the people that attend where they can get help comping properties, understanding what's going on. If you have any question in your business, you just hit the hotline and then someone from Titanium answers. So um, it's it's affordable. It's $5,000 and and that's what comes along with it. You, know, you get some goodies as well. So, and you got like, you got even like celebrities coming through that thing, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that's what I, I mean, there's, there's people that are like known, have a big following that I've seen at that. Yeah, we, we've had quite a few people come through. Um, we, we've been blessed with, with quite a, a good uh, community that's come through so far. And um, look, it, it's just something that we're passionate about because, you know, real estate investing changed our lives, you know. And, um, you know, I, I love what I'm doing. I mean, this is, this is fun. I mean, when you guys reached out to me and you said, hey, you want to be on the show, I'm like, yeah. And, and then I go to sign up and I saw the, the Calendly link was for an hour. What was my first question I asked you guys? I was like, Hey, I, I'm not going for an hour. I, uh, I need like four. Okay. We're good with that. Right. And, uh, it's just because I, I love what I'm doing over here. You know I mean? And, and it's supposed to be fun and, and you're supposed to enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. Mark Boyd came through. Um, there's uh there's a couple people on here that I saw earlier. So, anyways, um it's it's definitely worthwhile for people to check out titaniumcrucible.com. Um, you know, if you want to ask more questions, just go there, fill out the form, and we'll get in touch with you. So, I'm gonna go back to closing deals now because I like to have fun. I, I remember at the uh, Olympics, man, you were in some hotel room. What was that in Cleveland yeah, after Cleveland. your son's hockey tournament? Yeah. That was a lot of fun as well. Got to watch him play hockey in the morning and then go do my thing. Hello. Hi, is Jayla there? Yes, this is Jayla. Hey, Jayla. My name's RJ. I'm calling about your property on C Street. Um, you had entered it on our website saying you wanted to sell that property. Yes, I'm sorry. Who is this? My name's RJ Bates. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. So, um, I have the property under contract. Um, so I have a signable interest. I'm not sure if you're looking to buy ah, or you're a wholesaler. Yeah. <laughs> you, you ever heard of me? Have I ever heard of you? Yeah. Uh, what's your name again? 
R- RJ Bates the third. Come on now. Tell her about the show. No, I have not heard of you. What? <laughs> How long you been wholesaling? Are you on YouTube? I yeah, know. I'm on YouTube. You heard of the Closers Olympics? It sounds familiar. Yeah, oh, man. Familiar. Come on now. Listen. <laughs> so you, you try to wholesale too. <laughs> I, <laughs> no, sweetheart. I don't try. I actually do wholesale. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay. Yeah, all right. You got, so so I'm I'm the I'm the winner of the closures Olympics. I'm I'm the king closer. So Oh, do you actually um buy properties too? Or are you just are you just wholesaler right now? Yeah, I, I buy properties as well. Um so what what you got going on with this Farmington, Missouri deal? How much you got it under contract for? I got under contract for twenty eight K. Twenty eight K. What you trying to sell yes. it for? Uh, 80k. Uh huh. Um, but I'm starting to get a little scared. It's only been a few days. Um, we went under contract. We went under contract on Monday. Um, you said I'm gonna swing for the fucking fences. You were gonna try to make 50k. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you're not joking. How many? How many? How many? How many deals you've done? This is my very first one. There you go. All right. Now, now, now we're getting down to brass tack. Yeah. Now I know why you don't know me. All right. Yeah. So, so what do you think the ARV is on this? The ARV, we're looking at about two sixty to three hundred thousand. Um, we did some. Hold on, um, hold so on. Somebody's helping me Let, on it. Hold but. on. Let me ask you something. Did you base sure. that off of price per square foot, or do you actually have a property that sold for three hundred thousand? Um, there were there were three properties surrounding the prop surrounding the subject property. That sold for that, yeah, that amount. That and that amount. Then, and then we, yeah, that range. I see. Is three twenty four West Columbia Street one of them? Because I see four ten West College Street. That's a thirty one hundred square feet, and that sold for two twenty five. And that was remodeled. Yeah. yeah, that must be one then. Yeah. Right. Um, so that's over two twenty five. So how you how are we getting to three hundred? I'm trying to pull up. I have so many. <laughs> Gotta get more organized. I'm trying to pull it up now. There we go. Who Quran did? Did you talk to Did you talk to oh, Quran? Wait. Are you guys in the same business? Or, wait, 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 wait. Quran, Quran works for me. Wow. Oh, okay. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Yeah. Because I actually thought this was him calling me because I saw the area code. Yeah. And I saw him like, okay, that makes sense now. It's okay. Quran's new too. So. <laughs> but now, now you got the master on the phone. So let, let's figure out. I'm thinking. I'm thinking this ARV is more like 240. 240? Yeah. So, but you got it for what? 28K? Yes. All right. Now, real talk. How did you get into wholesaling? Was it YouTube University? Um, so I went to a few, like, um, I'm here in Atlanta. And so they always had like they always have the uh, the real estate conferences, and so I would always attend the wholesaling, mm-hmm. um, wholesaling and fix and flip um, sessions. And so that's where I found out about it. I originally was gonna, which I still might be, I still might go to get my license. But I um, I studied pretty much from January to May um, to take my exam um, to get to get to get my salesperson's license here in Georgia. Mm-hmm. And um, found it by three points. <laughs> three points, literally one question. And so then that's when I was introduced to wholesaling. And I was like, hey, this is something I can do, like, you know, as, I, as I'm also studying to take life sale again. So, all right, first, first thing, you don't need your real estate license. That would, nah. Um, second, how did you get a deal in Farmington, Missouri, if you're in Atlanta, Georgia? How did I get it? Yeah. So this was something that this was a listing that was on Zillow. Um, I literally just <laughs> took the filter off, <laughs> took the filter off of like you know how on Zillow like you can um highlight certain borders or certain states. Yep. 
yeah, so um, I just took that off completely. So I was looking at, you know, all the all the lower end distressed properties in the U.S. Right. And then I just um, I just I just I just took it that way. So I, I saw see. that one. It was listed for it was listed for 150k. And so I called the owner. I was like, hey, you know what the heck? Let's just let's just talk to him. Called the owner, and I noticed that he was very motivated to sell, extremely motivated, and. He, um, yeah, he was ready to close and I gave him the offer of 28 and he was like, yeah, let's do it. Like send me the contract. <laughs> so yeah, that's how that happened. And so are you the one that has this for sale by owner by 50 for 55 K on Zillow right now? No. So I'm, um, I had somebody that wanted to JV on this. And so he posted that. So I guess it's posted, is it posted twice? Huh. It's on Zillow right now, but he's got down payment of twenty one hundred. The monthly payments, total purchase. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was that was the original listing. That I was see. like the original listing, but the all the information above that paragraph was what uh, he added. Let's see. So originally, all right. So they listed it for sale yesterday. Okay. I see. I like you. You have a good voice. Do you like cold calling? Thank you. <laughs> Do I like cold calling? Yeah. I wouldn't say I like cold calling, but I like talking to people. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to offer you a job until you said no. Oh, really? Yeah. Where are you guys? Where are you guys located? I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Texas. Mm. Well, I'm in Atlanta. That's an issue. <laughs> Why? Phones don't work in Atlanta? Oh. <laughs> no, I definitely would like to hear more about it, for sure. I would love to hear more about it. All right, let's 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 start again. Do you like cold calling? Sure, I love cold calling. All right, let's have an interview. Let's do it. All right, so you've already got a JV partner on this, so I can't, I can't come in and sell this property for you, can I? He has, I mean, honestly, he's super busy. He has so many properties on a contract. And I'm just like, I just want one deal for the year. What's <laughs> his know? what's his name? Um, his name is um Devin. Devin. Yeah. I don't know Devin. Yeah. Do we know Devin? He Devin. doesn't have like any mentorship programs or anything, but he's I just do. kind of helping a lot of people. You wanna you wanna give me five grand and come to my mentorship? There you go. All right. So let's do this. Uh, you break up with Devin tonight and then tomorrow we'll interview you for a job. And then if you don't get the job, then you can give me five grand. And then I'll teach you how to be a good wholesaler. And in the meantime, you're going to go look me up. So you'll see that you should learn from me. In fact, if you go to YouTube right now and search I speed to lead, we're actually on a live video and I just closed the contract like 30 minutes ago live on YouTube in Indianapolis, Indiana. Say hi to the masses. They're all watching you. They're watching you right now? Yep. What? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this is hilarious. Like, <laughs> okay. Facts. Wow. I just closed wow, guys. Yeah. Is this your first time on a YouTube? I have a YouTube channel. Oh, you have a YouTube we're channel. Not, yeah, but we're not gonna disclose that right now. Oh. We're, we're rebranding. Oh, okay. Is it a YouTube channel for real estate? Because I mean, tell me it's not for real estate. It can be. Okay, it can be. But it's yeah. not right now. Cause no. You yeah, because you, you need to you need to close a deal before you become YouTube famous. <laughs> exactly. 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 All right. So well, game plan tonight, right? You're going to get rid of Devin, okay? And then you're going to go to RJ Bates the Third's YouTube channel and subscribe to his channel. You're going to watch some videos. They're epic. You're going to realize I'm the king closer, legitimately. Like, they're, they're making me a belt that says king closer, okay? You ever heard of Keith Everett? <laughs> oh, wait. I'm, I'm on the video. <laughs> I know. Have you heard of Keith Everett? Um, I have not. 
You don't know any of the famous people? What about Max Maxwell? Yes. Oh, okay. Max Maxwell is the one that judged me in the Closers Olympics and gave me the crown. There you go. Yeah, I literally on my closing call when I won, I made fun of Max's beard and I said I have a better beard than Max. <laughs> and I bought the deal in his home city, Winston Salem. Oh, wow. Yeah, I Winston went Salem, I love that area. I know. I went into his milkshake and I drank his milkshake and oh made fun God. of him while I was doing it. It was excellent. So, break up with Devin tonight. We'll call you tomorrow. Patrick Brown's going to call you, okay? He's going to interview about working with us, and then we'll, we'll JB this deal, and we'll get rid of it for you, okay? Sounds good to me. All right. Thanks, Jayla. Talk to you tomorrow. All right. See ya. Bye. All right. That's amazing. I no longer care about that deal, RJ Close. This was the greatest fucking thing that, that we had on the show. <laughs> Listen, she she is a wholesaler. She has a good deal. She has no clue what she's doing. No clue. She's got to get that shit off Zillow. That's screwing her up. And, and oh, man. Um, listen, uh, Berlin, New Hampshire, we're going to pass on that. I've actually had a deal under contract in Berlin, New Hampshire. And there's like 10, 10 people that are alive there. Okay. <laughs> And they're, and they're freezing. They're freezing right about this time of the year. I, anyway. I don't want to relive. That's where I got my deal in the 50-50-50 Was in Berlin, New Hampshire, and it was miserable. It's probably the same deal. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> the guy that bought it from us is like this fucking asshole. RJ sold me this piece of shit. <laughs> I'm gonna call him back and try to buy it for half the price. <laughs> Liam, remember we wanted to do like a comedy version of the show for one for This night? is exactly it. <laughs> we, we already closed the deal. Yeah, all right. Everything all, from here is just a victory lap. It's all it's all gravy from here. Praise God, everybody, for a brand new day. This is God's day, and we should all be rejoicing. <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> I'm based on in uh, New Jersey uh, in a private chat. It's uh, the reasons for selling were pretty damn motivated. I forget what they were. Fuck, I gotta, right. I gotta go back to it. But it was like, you know, I, it was Gene's private stock. Reason number one he owns a house in New Jersey. No mortgage, free and clear. Downsizing ASAP wants to sell it. Hey, Brian, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property on 23 Cove Street. If you could give me a call back, 817-915-6860. Thank you. Let's call Vegas again. Dude, that Vegas lead looks, lead looks like really fucking good. They might be dodging calls. I don't know if that's the reason. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello, uh, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property on Sun Valley Drive. You had entered it on our website saying that you were looking to sell that property. Yeah, I can help you. Awesome. Well, I'm glad I got a hold of you. Is now an okay time? Um, yeah, sure. Go for it. Cool. Well, tell me a little bit about the property. What you got going on over there? Okay, so I'll um, just give you like a rundown. Um, I had a few experiences earlier this year um, trying to sell the house. Uh, and it's just been a mess. And so I've been like back and forth. Um, I was going to put it, on the property, uh, put it on the market earlier this year. And then like the realtor was just didn't have my best interest. Um, and then I went to looking for cash buyers and then I entered a contract and um, basically in the end I feel like they tried to fuck me over um, based off of I have solar panels on the house so they um, they lowered the price and then then they asked me to pay for the solar uh, 
solar panels, which I, it would be fine if they would have raised it back up to the original price. They didn't want to do that. So I'm here now. Like, I abandoned this house for a little bit. Um, just my house got raided, just a whole bunch of drama. And um, I stopped taking care of it, basically. So now that we're back, we're just trying to clean up the house and um, we put stuff in storage and things like that. Um, but I'm back. I'm in limbo right now, whether I should put it on the market um, or cash buy. Um, I've talked to a few people realtors and investors so um right now i'm just like weighing my options i guess but i really really want to make a decision sooner than later because i'm ready to get out of this place i um, see so as far as the actual house um i know i have like a plumbing issue um which i was going to fix but i decided not to um after the experience I had with the people. So I have their um, invoice or, yeah, the invoice of what um, they were going to do. And then also I have um, mold in, in my bedroom. Um, and uh, they told me that it was because of the... Jayla, you committed. Like the shower in the room is on the same wall. And you committed. They didn't seal it or something, the shower. So it's like seeping through the, the wall to the room. That makes sense. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, but um, so those are two problems that we have with the house. Um, other than that, uh, the solar panels, but I, uh, the house is paid off. Um, I just, I'm just ready to go. I want to get the most. I've done a lot of research after all this stuff happened to me. Like my first, my first um, realtor that I had, she like. I just really took, think that she took me as a joke. She sent me paperwork. She wanted me to get a um, private loan with 10% interest and get the stuff that needed to be fixed on the home so we could sell it more. But 10% interest, like that was, but I never heard from her after that. Like, that's how I know. Like, she thought I wasn't going to read the paper. I don't know. But it made me, I'm glad that it happened to me because it made me do a lot of research and figure out what's my next move. And I learned a lot during this process. So, um, with that being said, like I'm just, I'm just trying to weigh out my options. Um, so even if you can't help me with this situation, when I get done selling the house, I want to move out of state. I want to get a fourplex, and I'm going to like stay there for maybe like two years and just, you know, Airbnb, Airbnb and out or rent it. Um, I haven't decided yet, but. I want to go into investor mode. So even if you can't help me with this, maybe you can point me in the direction of something else or help me with something else. But yeah. All right. What's your magic number on the property? So, I mean, I don't want to go no lower than like between 240 and 260. You ever done sales training before? Um, like selling stuff? Yeah. Uh, like in my early like ages <laughs> at a call center like that. Insurance. I, I was going to say, I do this all day, every day. And what we called that right there was the awkward silence. And like, that was like one of the most epic awkward silences from a <laughs> seller of all time. You're like 240, 260. I let you sit there for like 20 seconds and you were like perfectly okay with it. Like, I ain't, I ain't saying a word. I dropped my I'm price. I'm at work too, so I mean, I'm not bothered. I know you got to look at the setup. You're price. like, I dropped my price, 240, 260. <laughs> Sweat it out. What you got? <laughs> Never. <laughs> uh, 240, 260. All right. But I want you to come out and look at the property and look at the damage and stuff like that so you can get an idea. Like, you know, I'm I'm very open and reasonable. I just I'm just trying to figure out what's the best move for me to get the most money and get on about my life because I'm I'm over it. I've learned a lot of stuff buying my first home. So <laughs> yeah. All right, give me give me two seconds here. I'm trying to see if I can get some comps over here that support that number who um 
what was the offer that you had accepted from the investor? The original offer was 268. 268, then was, but then they dropped you and then they told you you had to pay for the solar, right? Right. Do you think they were wholesaling the property or were they actually trying to buy it? Um, from my understanding, it was an investor. And what, what really stopped the process was because of the um, actual um, contract I had with my solar. So they weren't able to actually take over the contract because it wasn't like an individual person. It was an LLC. And that's what made them drop the prices. But they wanted me to also drop the price and pay for the solar. But now that the solar is not the issue because you can't you can't take over the loan if you're willing to go back to the original price and I pay for the solar, then yeah. But they didn't want to do that. And that if you were saying that that was the issue, so now that it's not an issue and I'm going to pay for it, why wouldn't you go back up? How much is the, the solar? 26. Mm. So when you say 240, 260, is that you paying the solar? Yes. So I'm willing to do that. Okay. How close does the the property look to the pictures that are on Zillow from 2019. So yeah, no, it's a mess right now. I'm saying like we abandoned this house for a little bit, so it's trashy right now. I, like I said, my house got raided and from down there, like it just went downhill from there. So, um, with the plumbing it um, the bathroom flooded. So that it's not bad, but you know, you know, it's not like this is a new home. Oh yeah. <laughs> it needs to be up. It needs, it's laminate. It needs to be up. Mm. So um, that needs to be redone. The actual um, the room flooded. One of the rooms. So I had the me and my kid pulled up the carpet. There's no carpet in there. There's like old wood that they left under there. And then um, yeah, it, it needs some work. It looks like nobody lives here. Nobody lives home. We have boxes everywhere from putting like packing. And then I. Just the other day, we went and just got all the big furniture out of here. So right now, we're like in the cleaning process. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna have to work with me on price. I mean, I, I just I, I don't think I'm gonna be anywhere close to that if it needs all that. I mean, I'm willing to clean the house though. Like. I mean, cleaning is one thing, but rehabbing it's another. You know, I mean, I'm gonna have to go in there, and you're talking about some flooring, and I mean. You know, sounds like some drywall probably and probably painting. And I mean, is is at least the, the fixtures like in the kitchen, like the countertops and the cabinets and stuff. I mean, is that still? Oh, yeah, they're good. Okay. So that's okay. Mm. I mean, honestly, are you are you negotiable here? I mean, or am I, am I wasting I mean, my time? Yeah, shoot me a number. Like, I'm, I, right now, you, I've been just speaking to a lot of people. I had three people come up by today to look at the home. So right now, I'm I'm trying to weigh my options. Did they, they make you offers? Yeah, they did. Okay. So they told you probably the same thing I'm telling you, right? Uh, close to it. I got, I got two people in that range of what I asked for. So why didn't you I accept it? I want to go it? any lower than that. I want to be able to pay off my solar solar panels and I make a profit. So why did, if they gave you what you wanted, why didn't you accept it? Because it's two different people that gave me the same thing. And then I also have people still looking at the house. And, I, and then I have a realtor that wants me to put it on the market. So oh, see. the only reason I will go with the realtor, I want... I, but it slows down me leaving in the, uh, the amount of time I want to leave is because he, he also offered other things such as uh, he would he has in-house that will be able to fix the things and we can sell it for more money because he'll fix it and I'll just pay him back when we sell the house. Nice. So, I mean, I looked into that, but that's going to put things back because I have to do work and all of that. And yeah. So he's want to do a no novation agreement with you? If that's what it's called. Yeah. But he gave me multiple. He's also, he's an investor in a broker. So he gave me multiple options. That's the only way, reason I was looking at a realtor or putting it on the market. Because I don't want to do that at all. I just want to go. Like, yeah, I'm pretty much over this house. So. I see. 
Well, I would say, um, you know, the from a seller's perspective, the the scary thing about the novation agreement is is that you're hoping that the investor is going to come in and do a good job and and take care of you for you to to walk away with more money, um, especially with the timing of things from the sounds of it, it sounds like you're kind of just at the point where it's like, Hey, if I can just walk away with a little bit of money, I'm good. Um, if he's offering you cash, I would probably recommend to you just look, Vegas is chock full of investors. You know, um, you're, you're going to probably get someone to come in there and pay, um, what you're asking. Um, it's not going to be me. Um, I think they're, they're idiots. Um, but um, I, I'm i looking at properties selling for anywhere between 275 and there's one that sold for 325 There's one that sold for 330 I mean, uh-huh. for me to, to come in there, I mean, maybe if we get to that 330 number, let me look. Let me see. Before I tell you to go away forever, let me look at this 330. <laughs> So it's 1,700 square feet, and it's a four-bed, three-bath. And you are – you're less – you're, you're, So waiting on the internet. Um, you are, yeah, 1,512 and a 3-2. So you're one less, one less bedroom. You got about 200 less square feet. So – I mean, I, I'm just, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get there. And I mean, if there's these fools out there that are willing to pay that, the, the only thing is, is you've already kind of went around that, that merry-go-round with them once before, right? I mean, they're fucking right. savages in, in Las Vegas. I mean, they're, they're just, I mean, listen, I mean, what, what hurts them to, to lock it up for you? I mean, come in, I can tell you right now, I'll do 260. That doesn't mean I'm going to pay you 260,000. It just means right. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm putting it on paper and then, I got you to tell everybody else to go fuck off, right? And then I could call you back two weeks from now and be like, listen, uh, our rehab budget came in much higher, so we're going to need to lower the price. And now I'm talking to you one-on-one, and you've already wasted two, three weeks, and now you got two more, two or three more weeks of pain, and now you're going to have that conversation with me. So that would be my only fear, um, you know, with going with some of these higher offers because it's just math. I mean, when you look at it, and you say, I mean, what? There's a property on your street that's sold for three twenty-five. Let's see what this one is. Fifty-one thirty-two Hallett Drive. And it's for sale for three twenty-five, but it's two thousand square feet. I mean, it's just how how are you going to get the the math? Just doesn't make sense, you know. I mean, think about it. If if you were to do the work right now. Why would you, if you, if you bought this property for two sixty, why would you do the work to try to sell it for what? That's basically what I think you could sell it for. Well, that's informative. You know, but I'm just being real with you, you know, because I mean, I'm just basically telling you, I'm probably not going to buy your house. So I might as well just tell you the real truth, you know. I mean. Because these other people, they're all worried about their their paychecks, right? How are they going to make money? I'm not worried about that. I'm going to go, I'm going to go make my money and I'm going to do it with a clean conscience where I'm going to tell you, this is what I could pay you and, and I'll do it and, and I'll just move on. And if the, that doesn't work, that's okay. Cause someone else will be able to accept that number from me. I get it. If you can't, you know, you've got the solar situation. Do you, you said you own it free and clear though. You don't have a mortgage on it. Do you? No, I don't. So I mean, there's situations where, I mean, you could utilize it. I mean, do you need the money or or would you be willing to sell it on terms? Uh, terms such as what? Like where you become the bank and you sell or finance it. Oh, no. Okay. See, this, okay, so this is my plan. Now that I went through all this stuff and it made me sit down and like research stuff, like I don't even want to buy a house again. Like I'm going to go to Arizona. That's like the closest state I can transfer my job to. I'm going to buy a fourplex, well, finance a fourplex, and I'm going to invest my money other places so that I can have more income. Like me putting all my cash into a house and I can't even do anything with it. Like, but uh, it just it just taught me a lot of stuff. This is my first house I ever bought, and you know, right? The solar panels were stupid too. That was so stupid. Oh yeah. And I'm still paying solar and 
fucking energy. Like, what's the point? So I've, I've learned a lot of stuff, you know. <laughs> but I am going to go ahead and do the investor thing, and I'm going to go find me a fourplex. I'll probably stay there for like two years, and then I'll go to another state and do it all over again. Like once I pull the cash out, you know, equity or whatever, and do it again. Like, See, that's being smart, but you you need to learn about that. You know, I mean, that's what I do all day, every day. Is is I'm I'm in bed. That's what I'm saying. I mean. For, for your situation, if you're going to go buy, just use the fourplex for an example, okay? If you're going to go buy that, you're not going to buy it at, at 100% of market value. You need to buy it at a discount. So you could immediately refinance that and pull all of your cash back out. You could pull probably anywhere between, depending on your bank and the terms, 75 to 80% of a full appraised value. So you need to be buying it at, 70 to 75 percent of the market value so you pull all of your cash back out and you can do it over and over and over again that's the same thing with your property right here for me if i'm going to come in there and i'm going to i'm going to take over your problem and i'm going to do the work on it and i'm going to fix the plumbing and i'm going to fix the floors and i'm going to do all that i got to have enough equity in there to cover your closing costs and the purchase I've got to pay closing costs on the backside. I got to pay the dumbass realtors. I've got to put the money in to fix it up. And at some point in time in between there, I want to feed my kids. I got to make money, you know? So that's why when I hear people saying, I'm willing to pay you 240 to 260 as an investor, go ahead. You, someone sit down and show me the math on how that's going to make sense and how they're going to make money with your property paying $240,000. It doesn't make any sense. And that's why I'm saying there's a good chance. There, there's there's two chances that are going to happen here. They're either just a fucking dumbass or two, they're going to come back and they're going to fuck you in the end. And they're going to say, I need a price drop. And they're going to do exactly what the last one just did to you. Because it's just, it, it's, it's as simple as that. It's just math. I mean, how much money do you honestly think needs to go into your property to get it to, to sellable condition? I have no idea. Honestly. But I mean, it's it's going to take a little bit of money, you know. I mean, it's not like you can just go in there and drop a couple of thousand dollars and have it fixed up, right? I mean, I don't. Yeah, you're acting the wrong person when it comes to that. But I mean, it needs flooring. I mean, you can just simply do the math. I mean, does it need flooring throughout? No, just no. You would just have to do this part over. I mean, the part. The whole kitchen area, because it's the same as the hallway, but yeah, and it's laminate. So I think all of this has to come up. You can't just do a section. Right. So let's say, you know, I could get the flooring, which you could go to Home Depot or Lowe's and look for $3 a square foot, $2. Let's call it $2 just for shits and giggles. That's three grand just for the flooring. And now I got to pay somebody to come in there and put it down and install it, you know, and that's just the flooring, you know? So, I mean, you just start doing the math there and it just, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I get the position that you're in. It just sucks because it's like the, the property is physically distressed. So it's like, you have to take that into consideration Fortunately and unfortunately for you, you live in one of those just crazy markets, Las Vegas, where there are people out there that are insane and and might buy it. It's just, I can't, you know, from my experience, I just, I think there's more people out there that are more likely to try to sign a contract and wholesale it, um, which I don't know if you're familiar with that or not, but that's essentially just making a, a fee for selling the contract to someone else. That's very common in places like Phoenix and Vegas. Um, so basically what they're doing is, is they're telling you they'll pay 240,000 and then they're going to go sell it to someone else for 250,000 and they're going to make $10,000 just for selling the contract. Well, I, I mean, I'm good with that as far as research. I know to act like, are you the end buyer? And the, you know what I mean? Like right. just 100%, but just because I've seen stuff like on YouTube and stuff where people are just doing that off of Craigslist and every other place just to like be the middleman to get them a couple and they don't know nothing about nothing. They doing the same thing I did, which is Google and you know, YouTube. Right. So, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I wholesale properties. 
I will sell the shit out of properties all over the place. But I'm going to be honest with you. On this property right here, I mean, I know a couple of guys in Vegas that we could do the deal together because um, I live in Fort Worth, Texas. But I'm very familiar with the Vegas market as well as the Phoenix market. I, I consider them very similar and in how what's happening right now um, in the in the real estate markets. And I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, it's going to come down to for you. How quickly do you really want to make a decision? And I think you really need to take into consideration, like ask the hard questions to the people that are wanting to buy. Like ask them, what's your exit strategy with this property? How are you going to make money? If they can't explain that to you, because I could, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I mean, I could explain that on the spot with any person that I'm buying a property from. And if they don't want to explain that to you, then there's probably an issue there. You know, I mean, if they're an investor, you should ask them, how are you going to make money with this? I'm looking, I mean, you know, Zillow says, you know, your Zestimate is 301 and the Zestimate range is 286 to 317. This is also coming from the company that literally just tried to flip houses for the past couple of years. And they just came out and said, we're stopping flipping houses because we overspent and we're too bad at it, you know? Have you heard about that? No. <laughs> I mean, Zillow was buying houses all over the place, specifically in, in markets like Vegas and Phoenix and those bigger hot markets. And they were doing what these people are doing. They were overpaying for them. And now they're selling properties on pennies on the dollar just to try to recoup as much money as they possibly can. And so it's like, yeah, you could probably get someone to do that. Um, I just, I don't know if it's going to work out or not. So. Anyways, I, again, like I said, I'm probably not the person that you will decide to go with. Um, cause like, I'm, I'm not going to be the highest offer. That's a guarantee. Um, but I'm also the person that would be real with you and say, this is what I can do. And, uh, I'll stick to that number. Well, I appreciate your honesty. I'm sweet for real. <laughs> Well, I, I hope you, I hope through all that, that BS, I just spewed out that, uh, you kind of listen to some of the wisdom there and oh, yeah. ask, ask those people that are, are giving you those higher offers, um, you know, what their exit strategies are, how they're going to make money and, and see if they give you an answer that makes you feel warm and fuzzy and, and the math actually checks out. Right. All right. Well, have a great night and save my save my phone number. And if you know you decide you want to get that real offer, give me a call back. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm gonna save you right now. All right. Bye bye. Bye. All right. Man, that's tough. But that's how you build rapport with the seller by just being totally honest with them. All right. I need this one. I got a buyer in California that needs a deal. Like right now. Get this deal for him then. Exactly. This is the one. And if he doesn't pick up, try calling Keith again. I don't know if you already called him, but Keith is a, uh, Keith's a hoop. I don't know. I, I spoke to him. I, I had no clue what to do with him. I think you could figure something out. Keith. That is Newcastle, Indiana. You got it. Yeah. He's going to work here, man. He's got, he's got a ridiculous amount of contracts for very cheap in a market that I don't know. So. Oh. So is he trying to wholesale them or what? Nope, no, he I, he he bought all the houses, foreclosure auctions for like below two grand each. Hey. Sometimes those types of deals are not as beneficial as they sound. That's what it was coming out to. I mean, the the wholesale value is there. I just don't have any buyers, and it was just so many things at once that I was like, eh. yeah, there's 
Oh, let me see if I can get this pulled up. I want to figure out. We lost him, guys. Uh oh. Oh, man. I hope it's not my internet. Maybe he's just in awe. I don't know. I'm clicking stuff. Stuff stuff seems to be working so well. I think RJ is just having a moment right now. Oh. Did the, did the internet go out? I think you're nope. back. Okay. I'm like, Welcome what? back. I'm like, what happened? And all of a sudden, everything's <laughs> just, yeah, I'm, I'm back now. Yeah, everything just started spinning. I don't know what happened. All right. Newcastle, where is this at? Mm. <laughs> Jiminy Cricket goes, your leads are so amazing. He got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Just looking at him, jaw wide open. Let me uh let me call these other ones first. I might come back to that one. I, it sounds I don't like know. Yeah, that's that's tough when it's like he bought what I was saying is is I mean he might have bought properties that are so cheap they're not worth anything. It's gone again, guys. Uh oh. Uh oh. RJ's having another moment. Dang. Do we have him back? I don't know yet. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic. Hey, Internet, you want to work? That'd be great. You're back now, I think. Let me find out if they turn something on. Hold on a second. Okay. We change anything out here? As far Doesn't as this chair look comfortable? Talk? Look at that thing. Oh, no. Got this mesh chair. It's not the most comfortable. I need a uh, okay, I see. leather leather throne like that one. We will see that. Last Bro, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Oh man, Arjun's having a tough time. Right here. I I don't this. I'll make you a, I'll make you a deal. All right, Liam, you ready for this? Okay, can I'm ready me? for the deal now. I can right, hear I'll you make now. You a deal. Since my internet is 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 messing up, but this was fun. How about we call it a show tonight, and then I'll come back and I'll do another show next week. Bro, let's do it, man. The more the merrier, right? Let's do that. I, I don't want to sit here and, and deal with the little spinny circles and I and I, I just I don't like doing that. I want to just close deals. So let's just do it again next Thursday. Next Thursday sounds like a plan, man. We'll get you well, locked let in. Me, let me make sure that I'm all good. It'll be next week though, but yep. probably Thursday. Okay. All right. That's that's all I got for you, people. I got one contract. But I think it was I, I would say out of all of the, the closable deals that I talked to, you know, I probably could have pressed the one with the guy, you know, that he wanted more than the appraised value. But he was like, look, I'm just, I'm not going to sell if I can't. And then um, what was the other one? Let's see. Well, you had the uh, wholesaler. That was a good call. Otherwise, yeah, the wholesaler. You said, I mean, I think yeah. something will probably come from that. I mean, you know, I think so too, yeah. Her. Yeah, we're gonna to talk to her about her deal and and then obviously see I thought she she sounded very uh well spoken on phone and you're a and scary guy wants, to talk to. Right? She wants you're right, and she wants to get in on this, she just doesn't know what she's doing, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh she locked up a killer deal and and it was creative on how she got it. So I think we just uh we call her tomorrow and we see. But no, this is fun. Let's do this again next week. This was a ton of fun, man. Thank you guys for having me. Is Gene gone for the night? Yeah, man. So Gene was at, you know, Gene's in Ukraine. So it's real late right. for him. And so he was at a uh, a bar and that's where he was, you know, to get out of his house. And they ended up kicking him out. So he's driving home right now. I see. All right. <laughs> well, well, Gene, thank you so much, buddy. Thanks for having me, Liam. Appreciate you, man. What's up? Uh, RJ, thank you so we'll much. Next week. All right. Yes, sir. We will. And then all the all leads right. that you got, man, feel free to follow up with them and close them and let us know. 
Will do. All right, guys. See y'all next week. Sweet. Guys, look at that. Wasn't that a fun time? I've got some amazing timestamps that I'm going to I'm gonna get, you know, into sound bites for you guys. You know, RJ being real with the seller or when he's just trying to you know, <laughs> close the wholesaler on his mentorship or whatnot. I mean, all that stuff's super fun. But I want to end it on a high note here before we get all of our viewers to dip out because, you know, RJ's gone. So, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for showing up tonight. Oh, yo, guys, we've got the uh, we've got the giveaway. And so you guys have already missed the window. All right. For to share it. What I'm going to do here is I'm plugging all the names of the people who shared. OK. Into a raffle right now. Give me just one moment. OK. Because we got 24 shares. OK. Let me just. Figure this out really quick. All right. Who is winning a thousand dollars? So we've got a random name picker. I'm putting all the names in here. Okay, give me one moment, guys. I'm moving as fast as I can. I'm moving as fast as I can. Okay. Drum roll. We're not at drum roll quite yet. I've still got to enter all this shit in. We got 24 shares. Here we got one. Bro. We got William. We got Raymond BP. Andy E. Alice Z. Who else? Gene. Gene shared it like 12 times. Okay, we got more people I know. Let me go to mine real quick. Now we got more shares than that. Okay, some people are sharing mine too. No worries. All right, we're going to check out this one here. Uh, let me see. We've got Danny. Danny C, we got Alan. There we go. Okay, got more shares here. We got um, Lori. Guys, thank you guys all for sharing. Who else? Who else? Oh. Guys, some of you guys' privacy settings aren't on. Let me just go through the notifications right here. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. I'm spinning the wheel right now. Okay. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. And Andy wins, guys. Oh, my gosh. Andy E. Who is that? Let me figure this out. One moment, guys. I'm figuring out who Andy E is because I didn't want to write in all the last names, too. Andy E is Andy E early. All right. I'm sending you a friend request right now saying you won. Boom. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. That $1,000 in leads, we'll get it sent over to you, Andy, as soon as you give us some sort of information. Your Facebook looks like it's pretty much completely empty, but I appreciate you sharing, man. Do you want a friend request and $1,000 in PPC leads? So, guys, thank you for tuning in tonight. Have a stellar rest of your evening. Tune in next week and tomorrow and every single other day because we're going to be doing this every day. I do a lot of calls. Uh, we got a lot of cool people coming on doing calls. Gene makes calls. Man, so many cool people do calls. Right. So tune in, subscribe. Thank you guys so much. We'll be live again. Have a good one, guys.